Monday. <laughs> happy, happy Monday. <clears throat> <laughs> happy to be here for eight months. Love you all. Dink lovey. I hope y'all are having a good day. Hope the vibes are good. Happy 31 months. Dink love, dink love, dink. Can I tell my boss I'm signing off because Julian is streaming? Oh no. Oh no. I'm not responsible. Uh, happy Monday. I hope you all had a good weekend. Welcome to the daytime stream. We're going to do a little Minecraft and uh, DVD dating sim today. I'll tell her she can take it up with you. Oh, oh no. What's up, pupil? What's up, Mander? Devin, Lena, Barbecue, Peach, Galaxy, Bree Shook, Emerald, Kate. Hey, yo? Leah? And if we love Gretch. forever, let his love forever tonight. Dink love, 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 dink love. GTA girl got married on Saturday with the fastest draw in the West. GTA girl. Congrats. Oh my goodness. What a great day. And then I'm being told to stand taller gnome. Stand taller. Is there, are you missing a comma? Stand taller, gnome. Dropped croissant. Thank you for the stand redemption. I'm not wearing my slippies. I gotta go get them. But I'll stand for you. GTA girl, uh, happy congrats uh, on, on the wedding. Very happy exciting. Monday, you look good today. Pug PLS. Galaxy, you got drunk at a wedding love last night? Sheesh. Love, One side chat. Yeah. Love it when I get to watch stream during work. All right, I got my slippies. Oh, hey, baby. Sending my love to you watch and your the families. Watch your foot. Dink dance, dink dance, dink dance. Chat, you like my shirt? Have I worn this one yet? 
What better way to celebrate 35 months than getting engaged to a fellow ding? It says we took a spin on the merry-go-round at Meredith Meredith's Bot Mitzvah in 93. It was lit. I was one. I can't I still can't believe you left us to go to Trader Joe's. Goody, no problem. I'll do it again. Thank you for the tier two. Happy Monday, bestie. Still can't believe you left us to go to Trader Joe's on Friday. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. How many sheep we hoarding today? We'll have to find out. I think Will's been putting in some work on the server, so we gotta check out what he's been up to. 92 gang. Yes, sir. Can we get a drawer check? Yeah. Uh, drawer check special photo on my Instagram story, by the way. Special drawer check photo on my Instagram story. Attorney, all your responses must be oral, okay? What school did you go to? Witness oral. Yep. Hey, you're early. Still recovering from COVID. Again. Have a good weekend. What the hell is that? Thanks for being you. Oh, Shauna, that is funny. Yeah, I, 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 war, or, 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 hashtag be a real. Be real. Are you gonna play Dinkum anytime soon? So, I think the plan with Dinkum is start over with Jason. Because he, he tried it out and he's enjoying it. And we talked about doing it together and I think that might be the move. So we start we both start over and we play together. But I don't know when. Um, this week is uh, in the moment right now. It is, uh, it's a little bit in, up in the air. My plan was to take tomorrow off and just stream Monday, Thursday, Friday because of tattoos, but uh, my appointment for tomorrow is potentially a no-go. So I'll have to see. Uh, I like. I might actually just find out midstream too. So we'll see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have multiplayer dinkum. No tattoo stream now. The P on my hat stands for Skinny Pete. Yeah. Uh, Lit Brit, Sammy the Dog, Goody, Monstera, Stone, Fo Stone Fox, E Punk, Read It and Yeet, Extra Small Bunch, Bussy Ray, Cyrus, Samster, uh, Cat's Pupil, Jacinda, Bree Shook, Emerald Dragon, Jojo, Eliza, A Little Sad Moth, Green Eyed Dink, Horror Haley with the 29. Sass Sassity, Maddie, Danny Penfold, WTF Elena, uh, Scooter, thank you for the 12. Are you Shark, Sublime, Mander, Sushi, Tai Tai, Leah. Blue Jays, thank you for the tier two. Breezy Freezy, thank you for the tier two. Going to Mexico on it on Wednesday, you want anything? Ooh. Dirty, theory, dink, lovey, dink, lovey. Yes. Oh, PD Mandy, thank you for the 30. Happy Dirty 30. Oh, Sequoia, isn't it great? How do I explain Twitch to my husband? Does he watch sports? It's the same thing. You're watching someone broadcast video games the same way people watch a sport, a sporting event being broadcast. Um, <clears throat> so, over the weekend, um, 
Better Call Saul started this auction where they're auctioning off some of their crew shirts from the multiple seasons of Better Call Saul. And it's happening on eBay. And I'm so, f I'm just beyond stressed about it. I'm so stressed about it. There are these t-shirts that I desperately want to win. And they're being auctioned off on eBay. And they're already up really high. They're like in the 600, five, six hundred dollar range. But I have, I have, I'm stressed because eBay auctions are just the worst thing ever. Because they're stressful and people know how to game them. Not only that, but people um, ruin them. Oh, the same way people tried to ruin our eBay My auction for charity a while ago. And comes back like to then goes this. And comes back like it. Almost three years of the Dylan, thank you for the tier three. Thanks, Yulan. Thank you, Miss Alexis. I appreciate you. Um, I have nine days till the auctions end. I'm definitely going to wait till the last minute to, to bid, but I'm just so stressed about it. I just... I'm so stressed about it. Luckily, the, all the money's going to charity, so, you know. But, yeah. Two years with the Dink fam. Makes my heart so happy to be with a great community. Hello, Rara. If you're happy curious about the eBay auction that I'm talking about, go to Bob Odenkirk's Instagram got my Twitch and tickets. look at his caption. I can see some of y'all there, Big Slay High Pay. I know that's Happy a lot of sprinkler action. We're in a drought. Months to US. Hi Julian and chat. Happy two years, Ditto Dumper. It's been great. You're all awesome. Hope you're doing well, people. Pat. Elo, I I don't have a choice. I really like desperately want this T-shirt, and the only place to get it right now is eBay. Uh, Wolfman, thank you for the resub. Grumpy Spice, Jackie, Peter, thank you for the two years. Sam is offline. Steven with the 38 months. Steven! Appreciate you. Thank you for the 38. Dawn, Sherry, Miss Alexis, uh, Camilla, Dakota Ray, Spooky, Spooky, Jolie, Conveyor Belt Baby, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, Big Mistake, Sanic, De uh, Devi, Eileen, Steffi, Shardy, Char D. McDennis, uh, Clankers, Alicia, Read It Neat, Binzi, Breaking Lily, Shauna, thank you for the resub, Maisie, what? D. Scaper, Anonymous, Rainbow, <clears throat> Oh, thank you for the tier two, D. Scaper. Here, this is um <laughs> Do you have a favorite color these days, Yulan? Favorite color? This is okay, I think I can show this. This is the one I really want. And I'm currently the high bidder. So. Hold on, let me just make sure everything's cool. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. All the money goes to charity, right? But there's nine days left. And there's 75, eight days left, 75 watchers. Look how cool this shirt is, though. It's got the esteem on the back. I'm just, I'm stressed, chat. I'm so stressed. And I'm I'm worried that people are going to ruin this. Why? Would you wear it or frame it? Good question. Don't even know because I'm scared of uh, not winning it. 
but whatever it's it, i just have this really like after my last experience with ebay for charity i have this sinking feeling that someone is going to come in at the last minute and ruin all the auctions for everyone and no one's going to get them like someone's going to bid ten thousand and not pay it and um that's essentially like I don't know, an easy way to ruin a, an auction, especially when it's for charity. People like to do that. So, anyway, you know. Ginger, thank you for the 39. Dink, dink. I'm moving to the UK in like five hours, so English dinks hit me up. <laughs> Hit me up, Caro. Good luck with your move. Good luck with your move. I hope it goes well. Thank you for the resub. Um, I'm shaking as well, Butter Dog. I'm shaking every week. I'm not ready, and I am shaking as well. Anon with the gifted sub to Saul Goodman. Love to see it, Caro. Thank you for the 48. Damn, Fox Moth. Great Tamboni, seat to the hizzle. Thank you for the tier three seat to the hizzle. Tear down now, please. Do I have a favorite color these days? Uh, my favorite color these days. I've been wearing a lot of blue. Oh no, that's a, that's a crazy binge watch right there. Um, quick little note, um, little teaser note. I'm doing a little bit of a rework on uh, the channel as far as like art style and colors and badges and stuff. And that's going to be coming in the next month and a half or two months. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. It's been about, it's been just over two years now that we've had I want to leave everything the way it is. So we wanted to uh, talk to, had a little talk with Caleb last night. Sending lots of love. Dink, dink. Fun art and colors. Can't wait. Yeah, a little refresh, you know? A little refresh. <clears throat> I promise it's not going to be too drastic of a change. What a time to be alive. It will not be too drastic. Okay, it'll be very recognizable still. Minecraft again. Heart. Why did TTS sound sarcastic? Dude, TTS has got some attitude sometimes. I don't seem to have as much free time available to watch with my two little babies under two years old running around but still sub every month and so happy to be a part of the Dink fam. Sending my love to you, Jenna, and the Dorka. Hey Sam, that's really, really, uh, really sweet of you. You don't have to do that. It's very nice of you though. I appreciate it. Azzy, thank you for the 16. Croissant, thank you for the 9. Four screen is the only color to ever. Well said. Paramore Freak with a 77! Month resub. Oh my gosh. Riley, Julian, miss you. Hope is, uh, it's been a while since it's been around. Always thank Riley, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Jack, thank you for the 18. Kalar, thank you for the resub. 37. Fry five. What? Four mandarins equal one orange. Facts.
So we're going to start with Minecraft pretty soon here. I'm excited about that. I'm drinking a little smoothie. stressed about this um, tattoo situation. Okay, never mind. I'm not stressed anymore. My appointment is good. I literally just got the email. Mandy, that is literally what we're playing today. Oh my gosh, I was scared. Rob, sounds good. Uh, what's your what? Do, what do your books Hi, look like? Julian and Dinks. I applied for a huge promotion at work and should hear back this week if I got the position or not. Ooh, good luck, Fingers crossed. Steph. Prayers and vibes, please. Steph, I'm believing. One sec, one sec, one sec. Yeah, we're playing with Will today. We're playing with Will. All right, time for a quick ad break. We're at the top of the hour. And then we'll play some Minecraft. Uh, Evan, Evan, no, I did not bleach my hair myself. I had help. Mark, yes, Pittsburgh. Raise it. Three months. Oh, you're from Philly. So why Q wanna play mermaids or something? Sure, Lana. Yeah. How can we talk to you out loud? Exclamation TTS. Mustache is looking fluffy. Your man says hi. Alrighty. Oh my God, we're getting hosted. How do I pronounce that name? Welcome, welcome Raiders. How do I pronounce this? I don't want to mess it up. Quick end, quick end. Thank you for the help. Quick end, welcome, welcome. I hope you all had a fun stream. Thank you for the raid. I hope you had a fun stream. What did y'all play today? You're playing just chatting. Nice. Thank you for the host. I appreciate it. We're just getting started. We're doing some Minecraft today.
Uh, Yeehaw Aaron, Potato Cat. Tori Shelbs, Hannah. Zoe Jordan, Redhead, Girl Named Steph, Lana. Quick end with the host. It's AIM, Princess, Blurry Face, and Morgan. Thank you for the resubs. From a what? I've been subbed, but it's oh, nice Pittsburgh. To dinks. Hope everyone is good. I never manage to catch streams, but when I do, it's always the best. Miss seeing your face so often. Still big agenda envy as always, EXO. Mercat, you're sweet. Thank you for the resub. Thank you so much. Um, someone remade Boys Night 2 on TikTok. <clears throat> Did I post it in TikToks? Yeah, I did. I did. I'm going to pin it in the TikToks channel. If you want to see it. I posted it in Montap, but I also put it in... Um, if you want to watch it, it's in uh, Memes and TikToks and Discord. And I pinned it. It's really... It's funny. They did a really good job. Are you able to share the shampoo you use for your color? Uh, yes, if I can remember it. Which I don't. Um, damn it. Fuck. Um... I might have said it before. Your mic sounds flawless. Oh my gosh. Music to my ears. Thank you, Chad. I really appreciate that. Wow, I love reading that. Love reading that in chat. Ta uh, Tangerine Vampire. Iona After All. JJ Mez. Indecisive Dame. Pin this. All right. Okay, okay. Um, yes, here we go. Heard from Lays? No, <laughs> not at all. That's okay. Melinda, thank you for the gifted sub to Emma. Training for a new job tomorrow. Zipcat. That's exciting. Hope training's going well. Every time I see your logo, I think of Elder Scrolls Online because of the crown. I haven't heard that before. ESO crown. Oh, yeah. That's similar. I can see it. I can totally see it. How'd you meet Will? I met Will through Ryan Higa. Like a decade ago. And we just, um, we got to hang out and make videos back then all together. And then, um, we just kind of kept in touch through gaming. Give any protein Rex new to bulking as a vegetarian. We Mercury, yes. Um, protein? Mmm, flex. Mmm. Uh, I thought there was a command for it. Uh, it's called f flex. <laughs> I'll just try every command. I think it's called flex vegan protein powder. I'm just going to blame stream elements. <laughs> the TikTok's good, isn't it? All right, let's uh, let's get Minecraft in here. Did you see me on your for you page before you followed me? Plant prodigy, absolutely, yeah. What's up, Banner? Jade, that's it, definitely. <laughs> the box jump is good, huh?
A bet 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 26 months glad to be here. You learn and dink fam dink love dink. Yo, M. M. Hartway, thank you so much. Welcome back. Appreciate you. All right, so just to reiterate, the schedule that I told you about last week still stands. Today, stream, Minecraft, DBG, Dating Sim. Tuesday, Wednesday, off. No stream tomorrow and Wednesday. Thursday, uh, maybe Dinkum, maybe something, whatever. Valorant in the evening, though, we'll warm up with something else. Maybe Minecraft, maybe Fall Guys, maybe Dinkum, I don't know. And then Friday, we are doing the special Asus Showdown stream, which I might also warm up for that, too. I might do some Minecraft before that or something. Or some Dinkum. Or some Fall Guys. The game possibilities are endless these days. Just endless. When are we getting more Wii Sports? Conway, I think we're um we're waiting for an update. We've kind of played the content. It's very bare bones at this point. We want more. Like, give us more games. Give us more game modes. But Switch Sports, we'll probably bring it back soon. Hopefully, they'll come out with some stuff. All right, let's check this out. Thanks for all the fun, Julian and Dink fam, less than three. Whoa, we okay. Oh, okay, I'm waiting. I'm gonna wait to see until he's here because he obviously added a whole bunch of shit. Oh my God, he made a portal. Are you kidding me? Bro, what? Get your ass in Discord! He's fishing me! Dude, you did so much stuff! Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's up? What's up with you? There's like a whole other basement now. Sheesh. Sheesh. I expanded on your wonderful idea. Look, I also changed your sign. Why does it say boobs instead of my name? Uh, I don't know. It must be a bug, I think. I should check the something in the server settings. Is that client side, do you think? Mm, I don't know what that means. Okay, so... Um, do you want to see the new thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, dude, we haven't. Honestly, not a ton new. Like I we haven't played it. together um, uh, since the first time we played. So like everything that I've done and everything that you've done is new. One, one week. It's been one week. Okay. Yeah, a lot can happen. I guess I'm boobs now. What the hell, dude? <laughs> nice to meet you, boobs. Did you like how I just trapped like a hundred animals and didn't give them appropriate space and just left them? <laughs> Yeah, I did actually. Some of them have made their way in here. Yeah. Oh, the chickens? <laughs> they can walk under this? Yeah. yeah. Well, they they like, I don't know, They uh, something crazy happened. There's just chickens down here now. Yeah. All right, we expanded the underground bunker. All right, give me the tour. Give me the tour. All right. So first we have the knowledge room. Wow. Oh my Jeez. gosh. I can feel the knowledge in the air. Can you feel, do you feel smart? You look smart. I feel smart. Damn, that rod is hella enchanted. Hella enchanted. You want to see it? Look at this. Look at the name of it, too. Expensive Valorant skin. Jeez. Mending, luck of the sea, unbreaking, and lure. Damn. Damn, the thing was like 50 bucks. Worth, 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 worth. Definitely worth. Okay, so then we have everything can be moved around. This was just like the basic, right? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you get your pickaxe, you're gonna want to enchant it. Like that just like starts the game. I feel like, right? Mm-hmm. So we at least have the the beginning to be able to start enchanting stuff. You got yeah. the, in, in the hallway. You just Ooh. have a little thing. Anvil, nice. 
All right, now the piece de resistance, okay? You ready for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh! a food machine! Wait, no sunlight! How's this work? Go open that chest that they're standing on. There should be food in it. Oh, you don't even have to open the door. You can, you can just leave. Oh my God, there is food in it. Wait, so how does this all work? All right, so the mechanism works, right? So I hired two fully paid em employees. Okay, they get benefits. Do y'all get benefits? benefits? They said they don't have benefits. Off. They said they don't have any benefits. No, no, no. They, they, they said, said their back hurts. No, 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 no. Okay, so basically it works by the farmer has a full inventory, right? Once the farmer fills up his inventory, he, he can like reset the crops, but essentially there's like this interaction where they try to, I didn't know, but they try to like hand stuff off to other villagers. Uh huh. And so I blocked it and put a hopper. Oh, so he has to put it in chest. there. Oh yeah. my. Wait, so Sheesh. what's a hopper? Is that that thing on the right? That's the metal looking thing. It's like basically and that if you puts throw it something, into the yeah, it falls into it and goes into the chest. Dude, that is so smart. Holy crap. Yeah, he said his back is in debilitating pain. And no, he, no. He asked stop. you for Advil and you punched him. Okay. <laughs> this is Dude, awesome. Actually, How did though, you figure this out? I watched a YouTube video. Hello? Damn. Actually, though, the village that I found these guys at was the saddest village I've ever seen in Minecraft. There was only one uh, villager with a job <laughs> there was no books and there was one that had you know how like if you put a a, a work table next to one of them they become yeah. like farmer or whatever yeah. really out of the 50 villagers there was only one <laughs> <laughs> so yeah they came back dude this is sick like, oh, this yeah. is amazing it's cool, nice right? work yeah 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 i'm glad we have this like secret under because our house is like super modest and plain, but you go underneath mm -hmm. the surface and we have a whole operation. Yeah, I think- We can sell drugs too. down here. Oh, okay. Yep, <laughs> didn't say that. Um, you can expand this to- Watch out, move. Get out of the way. Don't worry, I got him. Uh, you could, if you want, you could like expand it this way, you know, do like yeah. another hallway or whatever. Like there's like- <laughs> It's I, I like, like hey, yo, where's that, my like, brother at? <laughs> a full underground system. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This is awesome. Very cool. Now I need to get some cool tools. Yep, it's true. True. Oh, we Trudge. gotta sleep. Okay. It's nighttime. I'm scared. What's this about a minecart track? Um, basically, I made transportation to the mine. That's all. That sounds so like a lot just, of work. It's just faster to get down there. That sounds like a lot of work. I, I don't know. <laughs> Was it a lot of work? Mm, no. <laughs> Medium. Yeah, ender medium. pearl. Oh, you got an ender pearl. Nice. The one thing I feel like we still need. You is have like hella books. Fuel. Oh, that was from fishing. So should I use? Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Okay, use I gotta. Whatever you want. Yeah, any of that stuff is you can use if you want. Well, I'll take the diamond pick and uh, maybe enchant it. So how do I enchant? I just need a book. I know. And the I don't like, remember it. So if you want to enchant. Uh, you actually might be able to. Oh yeah, yeah. Look in there. Look, look, look in here. Look in here. Make yourself a actual pickaxe. Right here, right here. Top, top one, top one. Okay. So make a like a diamond pick. So that way you won't okay. have to. It'll go faster. I think yeah. you need the blue crystals. It, it took me a while to remember it as well. You need the blue ones. Dink -luff, okay. Dink -luff, dink -luff. And then you come into the knowledge room, put the diamond pickaxe in it with the blue crystals, and then you should have like three options. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. I think the best one. Oh, if I get to level portion, thirty, right? if I get to level thirty, I'll have efficiency four. Well, efficiency is really makes it really fast. I feel like fortune is maybe more luck of getting multiple harvests, right, or something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna try to farm some levels then. If I can get to 30, I'll have a um, uh, efficiency four, which I think is pretty nice. Nice. Best community. All right, show me this mine cart. All right, hold on. We should make another cart. That's the one thing I forgot to do. I'll make another one. I made a food thing down here. Oh, nice. You've been adding to it. Sweet. 
Yeah, I just been taking whatever it comes out of that and and throwing it into the food because the organization is chef's kiss, by the way. I'm glad you liked it. So I did Malos, thank you for the, the sub. portal. If you, Camille, if you, thank you, you for the, the 19 months. Slaying there. with my 19 months, you are slaying. Um, I didn't really explore too much in the portal. Yeah, nice was, portal, by the way. Damn. Yeah. I just wanted to make it close. Like, we can always move it or make it look cooler. Right. Are you, um... Hold on. Are you... Wait, I have potatoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bake those. There should be a ton of baked potatoes in that food cart. That, that's what the, the the farmer, I think, is is mostly producing. Okay, I'm going to put potatoes in the oven. And potatoes are good. The, I think the one thing we're like, we have the least of is fuel. Right, right, so like wood gonna and stuff. We're going to make like a little, yeah, like a fuel farm or just get a bunch of coal or something. I don't know. Using fences as fuel? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Okay. I also... <laughs> I forgot to tell you that, that I found something. What'd you find? What'd you find? So, the day that I was like, okay, I just want to oh, set shit. up. Oh shit, we really don't have that much fuel. Right? Because I feel like that's pretty a nice little thing to have in the beginning. I would, I needed to try to find leather, right, for books. You remember that phase where you're like, we need yeah, a lot. Yeah. So I was, I was literally just gonna run around and just try to collect leather. Okay. Okay. But I stumbled on a, fo a forest mansion. What? Remember those? Like I actually just got lucky and stumbled on it. So it's basically the direction that I'm facing, it's across the water and you literally run right into it. So whenever we feel like doing a bit of uh, adventure, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sounds go good. There. I don't really know like how much gear we have to have, but I feel like we're gamers, right? Like we can mm -hmm, probably do mm -hmm. it. All right, so here's the portal. You want to take this? I just keep that in my inventory. And then this is just like the new little, oh shoot. Quick way down into the. Whoa. Oh. Jump on it. Okay. You go first. Sheesh. Sheesh. This is insane. Oh my god, Will, look at this. Whee! Dude! That is awesome. Just a little simple mine uh, car. Oh, oh. it goes back up too. That is amazing. Holy crap. Nice work. Makes it a little faster to get down here. Yeah, I appreciate that. That is, that is, you put in a lot of work, dude. Oh, there's a secret. Um, Did you see my secret room this way? No, I was trying to find it. So it's telling me about it, but I yeah, it. it's like over here. I think I know where it is. Um, oh yeah, it's down here. I was gonna and then pass it the lava. Oh, wait, do I have a? Oh yeah, I can label it. Okay, pass the. Oh yeah, pass okay, the lava. Okay. And then it's down here. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna label this. What okay. do you want to? What do you want to name it? Um, I don't know. It's just like secret mine, maybe. Secret. Mine. And I kind of carved out okay. this like, oh, I should. Careful, there's a drop off here. <laughs> Forgot okay, to label so that. Dangerous mine. <laughs> dangerous mine. Nice. Uh, but oh. yeah, I just kind of started a room, and That's I started. Cool. What level is this at? So we're at minus 56, 56 which I think is pretty prime. Nice. I'm <clears> actually <throat> gonna relabel this strip mine two. Okay. Nice. Do you have a box down here? I, I don't. Down here. I just have a. Yeah, I should, huh? Okay. 
because what we could do is also um put some stairs so it's just like easier to go up like yeah for uh, sure up and down this is what i couldn't find i literally was looking for this someone was someone was telling me and i was like i need to find it what what exactly 34 months this room. Chat room oh okay like the beginning of it I'm gonna go grab some stairs, maybe. For I got that. some. I got some. Um, oh, you do? Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, but I. Uh... <gasps> oh, that was scary. How do I get out of here? I'm lost. Oh, it's right here. You wouldn't understand. It's a secret. It's a secret or I wouldn't understand? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. It's a secret. Lovey. All right, I'm working on the stairs. I'm working on the stairs. Okay, I got some too. I got. I'm bringing okay. some. How do I follow Will? Is he on Twitch? Yes. Uh, click that link in chat. He's wonderful. How's He's your a good friend today? of mine. What did you do? <clears throat> My day was pretty good. Um, it? Yeah, I walked to the Greyhounds and did a little, little uh, bike, little uh, stationary bike workout. Oh, dude, I just got mine in. Oh, I for real? One. Yeah, I'm pumped. Oh, that's awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm so pumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a great thing to have, huh? Yeah, I'm really excited about it, especially because like out here during the summer, it's just like miserable to go outside. So having something mm -hmm. like that just feels like really nice. For sure. Yeah. OK, so I think one of the things that I, we're lacking, like you just said, is uh, wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, nice stairs. Great stairs. Thank you quality of life how is lonnie how's lonnie's day lonnie's good she's uh did we cuddled last night on the couch while we were watching tv and she straight up big spooned me like <laughs> like she just cuddled up behind me and i was just like chilling it was That's perfect funny. i love that this goes up too oh my god yeah it's helpful huh yeah this is great Wow, this is neat. It's so interesting that you're able to. Oh, oh, oh. What, what, what? You know? Creeper. Yeah, everything's fine. I'm coming. It's nighttime, so he was waiting for me at the top. Anything that is destroyed, we can rebuild. Nah, he's dead. Um, It's interesting that you can build the tracks on stairs or on, like, not an even surface. I didn't know you oh, could yeah, go up yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that connects it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Jojo Eliza, the link is in chat right there. Click it. Um, do you want to sleep? Do we have a bed down there? Uh, there's two beds. You put two beds down here. I did. Do yeah, you want to sleep? sleep? Okay, I'll sleep. I'll sleep. Have 
Have you watched For All Mankind? No, what is that? I don't even think I've heard of it. It's a show, um, I might have, I might have mentioned it, but it's about, um, space. It's on Apple TV. Hmm. And it is so good. It is, like, so good. I've been, we've been binge watching it straight through. We're on uh -huh. season three. Why do I never get notifications about you being live? I don't know. You got to check what your is, settings uh, in the Twitch app. Is it app. just like like space exploration or like so? The... It's a it's a fictional series based on the premise that the U.S. loses the space race uh, to to Russia instead of wins it like we did. So and and how okay. everything would have been different. And there's this whole alternate timeline, and it's just so good. It's so good. Hmm. Sounds um, cool. And so today. I knew that they had a companion podcast, but today I finally looked it up and I listened to it. And it's so interesting, dude, because you get to hear from like the actual astronauts who helped them write the show. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's very, very neat. I like neat. that. Yeah. We need... That back. Let's put that back. The show is called For All Mankind, and it's on Apple TV, and it's it's it was so, so good. cool to see how well Lonnie did with like complete strangers. I know, isn't like, that wild? I feel like that's like not like for people that don't have like a certain type of dog. Like, that's not always the easiest thing, you know, for, like, a dog to be able to just be so okay with, like, complete strangers all the time. Like, from the very beginning. A hundred percent. A hundred percent, yeah. she was so good. She was yeah. so good. I know. I know. It was, like, that was kind of, like, our first experience with, uh, like, a big group mm -hmm. and her being mm -hmm. here. And she, yeah, she's so well-behaved. Like, I feel like within, like... 20 minutes of me being in the house she was like curled up like a little bean right next to me yeah and just chilling like absolutely yeah. just chilling mm -hmm. really well behaved she, she like doesn't belong here because all of our dogs are bad bad be behaved all the time <laughs> and she's just like randomly really good <laughs> but yeah i was glad to see that too she she wouldn't leave chris alone yeah, I feel like she just is so comfortable, like, you can tell. And that's, like, not easy for... Uh, upstate uh, New York, think Will most, did all this. dogs, but a lot of dogs, you know? Right, right. Yeah, Elena, the podcast is very interesting. I listened to the first episode. I love companion podcasts for shows. Like, I think they're so cool. Yeah, she... She, she'll just like curl up next to it. Like she cut, straight up cuddles marbles on the couch. Like in what world? <laughs> Luckily this one. Yeah. Do you need leather still or no? Uh, leather? No, I don't think so. Okay. I think I'm okay. Cow takes a deep breath right next to me. Oh, that's a big tree. If Lonnie's a cuddler, what does Enol do? Well, Enol's a noun and a verb. So Enol Enols. Oh, fuck, I'm lost. Ah, I'm fucking lost. Wait, how'd this horse get outside? What the hell? Oh, I have a saddle for you, too. I fished it up. Oh, nice. In case, in case you want to do some cowboy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, where'd you go? Are you are you at the base? Um, I'm kind of lost. I think I'm. I went. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What about a beehive? I found a beehive. What do I do? Um, I actually forgot how to get the beehives. There's like something you can do. Is it like with smoke or for something? Happy me, Yine and Crafton and I need a campfire. Months. Oh, campfire? For the smoke? Definitely don't hit it. 
I was gonna. Mm, okay. I support you. <laughs> okay. They're saying I need silk touch. Mm. How do I make a campfire? Sticks, wood, and coal. Ooh. Coal, I need coal. Okay. I need coal. Uh, what direction did you go? Did you go like behind? Uh, where I went the, like inland. Behind like where the portal is? Yeah, exactly. Okay. My, uh, my Z is negative four. I feel like I'm just following a path of destruction. To you, could that could that work? Um, yeah, that's usually how we locate each other in games. I wish I could scream. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Man, I don't see your name. Oh, silk touch, you remove it at night. That's smart. Okay, thank you. What are, what are your chords right now? Mine are negative three, three, four, six, four, and 50. Okay, I'm negative three, five, six, and then six, four, and then minus three. We're close. I'll go to negative okay, three, I, I three, think four. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going towards you. I think. Okay. Okay. I see you. Oh wait, no, that's a villager. Villager. Or some guy. I killed his ass. Did you say negative sixty? No, negative negative four. Oh. Negative 350 and then negative four. The middle numbers are height, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have any coal? Oh, I see you. I see you. I see your name. You see me? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Look at that steed. Here you go. Damn. Thank you. All right, do so I have any coal? do you have no, any I have coal? Some sticks. We need coal because if we put a campfire underneath this, I think it drops and we can keep it. Okay, I'll, maybe I'll go back and get some. Yeah, I'll keep farming wood then. <laughs> you can make charcoal. How do I make charcoal? Furnace. Mmm. Shit. Uh, a furnace would, would do as well. Furnace? Yeah. Or like anything to make a furnace. Do you have cobble? Um, I don't. I can bring out there. Or what do you need? Maybe we could just b build a campfire and bring it there. Yeah, just a campfire. But I can make charcoal here if I had a furnace. Okay. Actually, you know what? I might be able to do this. Hold on. I'm good. I'm good. I got it. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I gave you that saddle, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, cool.
Oh. So I guess with this method, we don't get to keep the beehive, but we get to farm the honey. Maybe. Oh, okay. But with so... Silk Touch, we get to keep the actual beehive. Nice. All right. Uh, you want to sleep? Or do you want to stay up? I don't have a bed. I'm all the way out here. Um, You're pretty close. Do you know how to get here from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... What, uh, what's your chords? What's your... X? 278. Okay. One tw minus 120. Minus 278, right? Or is it positive 278? Maybe you can see my name. Wait, is it negative or positive 278? Negative, negative. Oh, okay, okay. And then the Z is 120? Um, minus 90, like minus, minus 100 something. Got it. Yeah. What direction did you go? Basically, from where you were, you want to go northeast. Okay. I think I'm good. I see it. Yep. 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 Okay. I got some baddies over here. Oh, there's an ender. Well, Should I fuck him up? Can. I got a regular sword. Come here, bitch. I'm gonna die! Don't die! Julian! <laughs> I'm sleeping. Did you respawn? Yeah. <laughs> I lost all Sleep, my... Julian! <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> we can't! There's zombies! <laughs> it's fine, I got this. Zombies in the house! Zombies in the house, zombies in the house. Oh, we got seven levels back, we're chilling. <laughs> I forgot how funny dying in Minecraft is. You literally just flop over and all your stuff goes everywhere. Bedtime? Nope. Killed his ass! Alright, now Where'd we sleep. You hunt him down, rematch him? Yeah, I rematched him. Okay, bedtime. <laughs> what the hell? I have to sleep in the boob bed? Sorry, I can't hear you. I'm asleep. You <laughs> brought hella zombies. Popping in while on my Help me, Julian! I'm sleeping! Wake up! Club. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Damn, it was all a ploy. Vantare, <laughs> thank you for the tier 219. Thanks for being you. It's all I know how to be. Thank you, Vantare. I appreciate you. Holy mess. Man, that, I want to make an infinity bow. That's that like was a nightmare what just happened. Let's see if we can make an infinity bow. Sticks and what? String? Is that what it is? <sighs> Fucking hell. Okay. Uh, got the pearl. Alright, rip my levels. Can we go to the nether and maybe get levels? Yeah, go through the portal and see okay. if you can, um, you gotta be careful though. Oh, you need, remember you need some kind of gold thing. 
Oh, do I need to be wearing it? Yeah, you need to wear like gold boots or something. Or I think at least a piece of gold. Okay. Uh, Lizzie! Oh, I forgot how creepy the noises are in the nether. This fucker's right here? Oh my god, this is terrifying. Any plans on more Valorant? Yeah, we're doing Valorant Weekly now. Julia, hello! 23 years, damn. Yeah, I'm super excited to be doing Weekly Valorant too. I'm like really enjoying the game. The other day I was- Where did you go? Did you go in the- Nether, yeah. Okay, the upside down? Yeah, the upside down. You saw the, did you make some diamond stuff? You see the diamonds in there? You made some, right? Yes, thank you. Like some, some tools to get you started? Yeah, yeah, perfect, thank you.
I forgot about the blue stuff in the nether. That's so cool. Okay. What's the blue stuff? Oh, there's some, um, I, I, I did like, I didn't really set some trails, but if you see like posts with like, uh, uh, torches on it, that's just like, uh, help, help me like not get lost. I didn't really okay, explore too sure. much down there, but if you want to, if you want to start setting up like any kind of like little markers. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Spicy chat. I'm trying to just make a little stairwell for us. Just so we can return to this spot because this is a pretty good spot. We're almost got our levels back. What is that thing? What'd you find? There's a oh, he's just a pig decked out in gold. Oh damn. He's like iced out. Holy crap. Damn, good for him. For real. That's your lover? Loki want to eat netherrack? You think it looks tasty? Beetle, thank you for the two. What do you call a penguin? A penguin? A zombie pigman that steals your sword and armor. A hamburger. Oh, I don't have any arrows for this guy. Damn it. That seems really fair that he can just like walk through lava. Can you sleep? Nope. I am sorry. Wait, maybe you don't. Ha maybe if you're in the, I don't think you have to, right? If you're, I'm in the in Nether. Upside down. I'm in the Nether. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Why are there so many Enders out here, just like doing homework and stuff? Just carrying around blocks. I can hit the thing back at him. What the hell, liar!
Why are you hurt? Oh, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Just don't die. Okay, thanks. I literally didn't even, I wasn't even die? beefing with you. <laughs> Did you die? <laughs> no, 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 everything's fine. I, I went in there and almost got killed by one of those um, giant head things and I was like, yeah, I gotta go. Oh, I'm so dead, Will. I'm so fucking dead, dude. <sighs> They're so fast! I just got the message. Dude, they're so angry. I literally was <laughs> fighting with like the floating cat thing. Yeah, that's what almost killed me. But no, I was fighting with, fighting with the cat and then the ender out of nowhere just started beefing. With you or with the cat? I know you want me to eat chat. No, 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 with me. He started fucking me up and he killed me. Tell him mind his own damn business. My own damn business, idiot. What were you? I was what, trying to get levels. All your levels. Yeah, yeah. Julian, no. I know. This is not really. It's not. I don't even know where the fuck. Okay. <laughs> Dude, would you? Okay, I know you. I know the answer to this. But would you rather use my fishing rod to get levels that way? It's hella uh, fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do, I do. But I want to get my shit back, and then I'll come back. Okay. Because I have the uh, the fast fishing enchantment on it, so it'll give you plus five to patience. Plus five to patience? I need, like, plus 100. Yeah, I mean, that's what I meant. My mic bugged. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the worst. <sighs> I like forget how to get to where. Look at me, Julian. Wee! Can you open Damn. up the bridge? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't have anything to do with. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> that would be cool though if we made a drawbridge. Oh, could you? you can you think you can make an automated one? I guarantee someone has done that. Mm -hmm, that would be such sure. a cool build. God damn it, I don't have gold on. Because the pigs will get mad if I don't have gold, right?
I got this chat. Easy. Easy dub here. I think this is like roughly where I'm supposed to be. Oh, we look at you, Dink fam. You all look good. Good idea, right, chat, to stay in the nether right now? Oh, there's my little archway. Beautiful. Oh, I literally... Dude, how did I know this? This is crazy. I came up right next to my archway. these guys let's just leave all right i got my stuff i'm coming back you're owning Look at dirt being useful. Who would have thought?
All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. How was your adventure? It was good. I got negative 15 levels. Peaceful. Sounds peaceful. Mm -hmm. I'm back at home. Where are you? I'm in the bunker. Oh, oh, I'm gonna come down there. Come on down. Oh, what are you doing over here? Look at this guy. See, we got a new librarian in town. Oh, got a lot of books. Yo, Tyrex, thank you for the uh, gift subs. Emmy, thank you for the gift subs as well. Would you look at that? We lost all of our uh, levels. Time for ads. <laughs> Maybe the ads will regain our levels. We sleep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm come, 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 come. I'm coming. <laughs> All right. So you said I oh, should fish for levels? If if you want, just because this fishing rod, it's it's pretty fast. Okay. So try it and see how many levels you can get. If it's boring or whatever, we can we can go to uh, back and get you some levels out of the upside down. Ty ty. Thank you, Eileen. Snow Glacier, thank you for the 17 AO. Jay, thank you for the resub. What's a pad attack? Oh, this mending is nice. Cooked potatoes gives XP? Mm -mm. An automatic fishing farm? I remember Pansy built an XP farm one time. With oh, like, yeah? that's it, like spawned the skellies, but they couldn't hurt you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If we find a spawner, we could do that. Mm hmm. We'll have to find like one of those underground mines. Yep. That's a good spot for him. This rod is so good. Ryan, thank you for the resub, dude. Damn it.
So unbreaking three makes this so it never, it doesn't have durability or what makes it? Mending. Mending, okay. Mending makes it so like if you get EXP, you gain so mending or um was it unbreaking i think just makes it so like the durability amount is higher but mending makes it so that if you when you gather, get xp it yeah, adds you, it to the durability recovers. got it yeah. okay so there's no there's no stamina bar on it then because it's just forever Pretty much. Good. okay yeah We have not defeated the Ender Dragon yet, no. Lorehard, I hope you had a good day at work. Will you play Among Us again? Um, probably at some point. Katie, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. Uh, are you good? He was not good. Is it nighttime or is it just rainy? I can't tell. Uh, I don't know. I'm underground. Okay. But we can we can sleep if you want. I think it's okay. I don't think it's dark yet. surgery blizzard i hope you feel better damn that is not fun a surly spud with the prime you can tune a piano but you can't tune a fish you know i had to say that out loud to get it thank you for that what did i just get what was that oh name tag bro i should have picked up this rod when i only needed six levels Oh, I know. You should have. I'm silly did, did, for did that. Did you get a good amount? Are you getting Yeah, good I've, like, okay, since good. I started, I don't know, a few minutes ago, I'm already at, like, almost 14 from 8 oh, or nice. something. Oh, nice. Sheesh. Yeah. That's Thank you enough. for lending this to me. This is great. Hell yeah. Geeks Tavern, I'm glad you're enjoying Where's Peachy? She's on my desk. She's chilling. She's chilling. I did jiggle pick that fish. I logged on to Valorant, play, uh, played a couple of practice rounds, did a little jiggle peeking, bought some skins, and then logged off. You like the drawer check pick? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, sometimes you got to give them a little George check on Instagram.
favorite Minecraft block. I don't know. Oh, you like the Lonnie TikTok? Yeah, Jason has been playing Valorant for two weeks now. All right, if we're feeling real spicy, we can go over to that mansion. I'm I down. Don't have any, I don't have any like ranged yet. I know, I don't have any good bow and like, I really want like a bow with one arrow, whatever that one. Infinity? Infinity bow, yeah. Um, okay, so I have the mending book trade, but we have to have, we need 22 emeralds for, to trade for the book, which is a bit like, kind of a lot for us right now. Where do we get but emeralds? You loot them, like there's all, there's like a couple of different places you can get them. Out in the wild, you can get them in chests. Okay, oh, we should sleep soon, by the way. All right, I can sleep. But that library, li librarian down in the underneath the bunker has the mending book trade. We just need to get emeralds. Got it. Okay. Trading with farmers are a quick way to get emeralds. The farmers. Okay. Well, this is a good spot. So many fish, oh my god. Did you just do a trade? I did. Nice. I was just gonna we'll start trading. doing that too. How'd you get this guy in here? Um, we had to go all the way, bring him here from the village. Oh. Flint. 
All right, let's put some of this stuff back. We'll put wood. Actually, no, we'll take a stack of wood. Drop the ender pearls. Drop these. I'm down, yeah. Can we just like poke our heads in? Yeah, I like that. Let's do it. Can we take a boat there? Yeah, boat. Make sure you bring a bed. Oh yeah, a yeah. boat and a bed. Pens and uh food. I think I picked up my, um... My axe. Do we have any spare beds laying around or should I- Oh yeah, we do. Okay, got one. I got the pee bed. Where do we meet? Muted. All right, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready for this? Mm hmm. Let's go. Set sail. Okay, is that the expensive Valorant skin? Yeah. Do not lose that. <laughs> I swear. Where did it go? Where did it go? I swear, if you die with that, I'm going to. Pee my pants. Okay, well, I have the piss bed, so. Again. I'll pee him again. Okay. Oh, wait, that was Game of Thrones music. Is that right? Is that the right song? Okay. What are we trying to do here? What song are we trying to sing? Uh, Pirates. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was. Yeah, I like the Game of Thrones song, though. That was fine. Okay. Are we playing raft? <laughs> yeah, you scoop up the plastic. Okay, so through this on the right, and it's gonna be spicy. Oh, I'm so excited. Remember when we TNT'd that mansion? Were you there for that? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that was so toxic. Oh, the mushrooms! I think it's just past this. What's up, Court? How are you? I've not played uh, Cycle Frontier, no. I think it's right Cat here. Cat Philly, bitches and cream, thank you for the resubs. Yep, there it is. Oh my goodness. Dun, 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 dun. I literally stumbled on this. Just by boating around. Boating around. That's what boating around will get you. What is this? Okay, okay, can I see? Hold on, let me see the fishing rod real quick. 
poisonous potato. Should I eat it? Um, Should I feed it to one of our animals? If you're, if you're immune to poison. This was, this was the, uh, I broke in. Oh, this I see my, that. Uh, I see yeah, your little <laughs> break and entry. A book, book thief. <laughs> your little book goblin. God damn. Yep. So can we kill the people Open here up. or what? Yeah, we, dude, we, we can literally just kill. Oh, they hit hard. Want. They hit hard. We'll help. I know. Be careful. I don't have a shield. Oh my God. I'm Go dead. In. I'm dead. I'm going to die. E Escape! <laughs> Will they chase us outside? Yes! Get in the boat! <laughs> Go to the water! We're being chased! Can they swim? Oh my, I don't know! I'm jump <laughs> jumping in the water. <laughs> I'm fishing. I'm fishing. <laughs> I'm fishing. Oh my god, it hit so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I we almost got one shot, dude. We need a shield, I think. Should we go back and make shields? We can make them here. Uh, do you have iron? <laughs> we can't make them here. <laughs> okay, how about we go in and we don't make a bunch of noise? No, no, we got this. I just wasn't ready, you know? Oh, I have a maybe shield. We, you do? Okay, yeah. hold on. Maybe we should sleep first. Also, we should probably put our beds here. Barf. Okay, let, let's just wait until we can sleep. Do you have enough food? I have 18 potatoes. Here, take those. Thank you. Nice. I hear him screaming up there. Dude, he's an actual idiot. I'm gonna I'm gonna snipe him, jiggle peek him. <laughs> I do really wish I had a bow. He's right here! Oh my god! I got him! Get Emerald! Let's go! Let's go! They're weak! They're, They're so, so bad! Weak. Imagine! Get on, chicken! Oh, you have a bow? You're farming! Dude, he has an enchanted axe! Going in! Kill them again! Get on, idiot! Give me your books! Alright, so we have two emeralds now, zombies. right? Zombies, zombies! Oh, to the right, to the right! Help me! I got it, I'm got it, I got it. I'm eating, I'm eating, I'm eating. Use your shield! Use your shield! Ah! Trade, your turn! <laughs> oh, well. I got it, I got it! Turn around! Nice, back, nice, back, nice. Back, 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 back. Oh my god. <laughs> Kill the zombie! Oh my god! Oh, he's Run! Run! Get the hell out of here! What is this fly? place? I just want books. <laughs> Who the fuck is flying? What the hell is that? <laughs> Bro, um, what the hell? Oh, I had it together until he started flying at me. <laughs> Alright, I'm going up. This is my other secret path. <laughs> what kind of library, dude? What kind of fucking <laughs> library is this? Hey, come upstairs, upstairs. Okay, okay. Oh, nice Idiot. stairs. All right, well, look, this is a secret path. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bypass the security. Nice. Nice, nice glass. A little B and E. I can't jump up. All right, we in this. Jiggle peek, jiggle peek. Checking corners, checking corners. Checking this corner? I heard okay. someone. There's literally nothing up here. There's b hella oh, books. books. Hella books. Oh, hella books. I don't have an axe. You got to take them because I'll, I'll guard. I'll guard. I'll stand guard. I'm going to jiggle peek the stairs. Give me the knowledge. Oh, I'm jiggle. Oh, I see him. Oh, my God. Do you have any arrows? <gasps> no, I don't. Do oh, you need help? No, no, no. I got this. Oh, I got oh, for this. reinforcements. I got this. I'm stealing. There's two of them. I wish I had arrows. Oh, what's what happening? Whoa! He summoned something. He Ew. summoned something. Kill him. Do they hit hard? I don't know. Yeah. I killed you him. You got it. Oh, what was idiot. it? It was a little bird. Oh, no. It's like a little bird thing. 
You're lucky we don't have freaking bows. He keeps summoning them. Uh oh. Ow! That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Retreat. Tactical retreat. Damn it. Okay, what if we. I'm go going back, go in! Back, go no, 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 turn around! No, 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 don't, 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 don't. Oh, God. Okay, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around, Julian, turn around! I can't! I I'm, I'm smacking him, I'm smacking him. Creepers! Got him! Oh god. Stupid zombies! Oh my gosh! I'm leaving! I'm leaving! I'm wizard! I'm leaving! 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 Get me out of here! I'm panicking! You got <laughs> this. Me. Uh, uh, look at me, I'm, I'm ah! on the wall. I'm on the wall. <laughs> I'm behind you. I'm too... <laughs> I'm coming, Julian. Turn around, turn around. Look, I escaped. Where are you? I'm in front of you. I'm literally along the wall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I escaped through a window. Nice, dude. <laughs> Did we win? We're getting hella emeralds. Are we? I only got I got four. I guess that's a good amount. Yeah, but I have one, so it's five total. That's pretty good. I did not bring enough food. Stupid. Flying things! Flying things! Ow! Oh my god, dude, these hurt. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, I gotta leave. Oh my god. I have to leave. Oh, my okay, shield's gone. My shield's gone. Run, 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 run. You have to crouch out of this. <laughs> Wait. They retreated. Okay, we're safe. Let's go back. Let's go back. Back in? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's here. He's... I can't get around you. I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-one. There's a skelly here. There's happy a skelly. To continue on this chill ride that is Julian stream. <laughs> Hope spider. everyone is having a great day. Cause I've been busy fixing servers all day. I killed him. I killed nice. him. Get me out of here. No more crouching. Jesse, thank you so much for the resub. Fixing servers. Right, You're I a hero. You all here today for the meeting. Okay. Uh, today I'm going to be presenting. Uh, a business proposition and and we're going to decide if we want to invest okay all right meeting adjourned what's the business oh you gotta wait till next time oh, okay. oh my god help me something just dropped down i'm, from the I'm plant shopping i'm plant shopping what do you want me to do oh, i need a shield he Dude, keeps I'm dropping these vexes. These books. Oh yeah. fuck! Do you think you do you think that you can? Is that? I wonder if it's possible to to do that in game. Could you imagine if you could you could summon that? That would be so cool. Ah! What the? Whoa! What? I'm gonna die! 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 Holy shit! What the hell was that? I I hit it. He backed off. He backed off. Uh uh uh. You stay. You stay. Stay in your bed. Okay. Back to the books. I have like a million books. Oh God, Julian! He can float Dude. through walls? What? I'm reporting you to the server admin, sir. Which is me. Damn, you got reported to himself. What the hell? I killed the, the guy. Now he's just had to kill his pets. Stupid, stupid. Wow, stupid. his pets. Ow! Well. Retreat, retreat. Retreat. Wait, you killed like the wizard? I killed the wizard. I got one. I got one. Got two. Oh my God. There's one more in that room. The, our meeting room. Our boardroom. Whoa, there's more. There's more, Will. I'm Dude, dead. Who keeps... I fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> you spawned close though, right? Yeah, hella close. This is great. Okay. 
Wait, so but Lexi. you lost all your levels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's that's okay. That's no. the story of my life right now. Are you upstairs or down? I'm right here. Good comms? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm at the window. I'm at the window. Can you see me? They're flying <laughs> towards you. They're outside? Ah, <sighs> fucking hell. Oh, there's chests down here! <gasps> oh, damn! Thank you. All right, let's go. Let's go down there. I'm opening okay. this up. I'm do gonna die. die! Don't do not die down there, Julian. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I dropped. I dropped my sword. You dropped your sword. <laughs> I'm making no! an escape route. Okay, you can climb back up. I think. Okay, everything's fine. Are you I alive? like I was trying to build myself in and I accidentally opened the crate and deposited my sword. <laughs> 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 oh, these crates hella empty. What a debate. Come really? on. Yeah. That sucks. There's literally nothing in these crates. That's toxic. False advertising. We need to get what totem? Uh oh, uh oh, we got a, a, a big guy outside, big guy. He's looking for us. I'm gonna kill him! Uh no, okay, I'm not! Than three long I'm here with you, I'm here. No chat. I've been we're winning, we're winning. Nice, nice, good, good, good. I don't mean to get heavy on here, but I lost one this? of my best friends two oh, weeks I hear, ago I hear suddenly something. and unexpectedly. And I know she would want me to continue oh, to God. spread so much what love. So I just want to tell you all you, you are hear amazing that noise? enough it was and like look lee, so lee, good lee, today. Like, like I My God, Jordan, I'm so sorry to hear that. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ow, dude, one hit, it just is like hurts so, no, he's gonna hit my feet. Oh my God, Julian, I'm almost dead. Did you kill him? Nope. Yes, got him. Oh my God, you're insane. He basically hits you twice and you're dead. Jordan, I, uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I wish I'd give you a internet hug here. Sending you all, all the love. I'm just gonna put torches so maybe nothing will spawn. In the room where you killed the evoker, the there's idea. a totem of undying on the ground. Okay. What? Do you see that looks what? like his face? What the hell is this? Dude, these rooms what are What is weird. this? Apparently there's a totem we need to grab. Totem? What is that? Like... What? There's a jack-o'-lantern in here? Is it upstairs? I'm going upstairs. Hold on, let's destroy this big face thing. Let's just see. Come back down, come back down. Okay, I'm coming. Mental health has been pretty tough recently, so see if thanks there's something for being in here. here. Streams have been centering like, reading clubby. Does it have anything inside it, like a chest? It's all, uh... It's wool. It's wool, yeah. Apparently this totem, uh, it stops you from dying when you hold it in your offhand. What totem? What did you it's get? It's the one, it's the one, okay, we gotta go back upstairs. Oh, can we build our way yes. up? Let's build our way yeah, up. Yeah, right here, right here. I already did, right here. Escape route. Nice. 
The chaos is giving me life today. Lul I have been sick the past week, so having something Ow. fun to watch helps pass the time. It's night time, be careful. There's a totem in one of the rooms that killed him. Wait, we wait, wait, were you talking about the Yeah, uh, that was upstairs. That was upstairs. Yeah. The where, where, wizard. Where? It was up here somewhere. I think. Oh wait, that's one we didn't kill. Do we should we just charge? Whoa, whoa! We could kill that one instead. Or just charge him? Yeah, I got both. Nice. That's the one that summons. Oh, you're owning. Oh, get absolutely destroyed! Oh, he dropped it! There's another one! There's more! Back up! Okay, 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 okay. He's charging, he's charging. He's coming. He's coming around the corner. Drill turn around! I have the totem. I'm holding what it. Mean? What, I what, what does that mean? I don't know. Does it good? mean I can't die? Maybe it means if you you have like an extra life or something? I don't know. Careful, Joel, behind you! Wow! Nice, good kill. Oh, do you have the totem? It, it's only the wizard one, I think. Oh, That's it's one time guys. use. It's one time use. Careful, careful. We're playing ping pong with him. <laughs> oh, hella books. Hella books! Oh shoot, my axe is about to be destroyed. Yeah, I don't have an axe. Oh, it's an extra life. They're saying it's good for boss fights, so we should like have them. Oh, okay. I'm literally running out of food, though. Well, we can go back. We can go back. No, let's farm the rest of the books and, you know. Okay, okay. I mean, I'm just farming them with my fists, so. That's good. Hella studios. Alright, um... Okay, we got the books, got the books. I'm going back downstairs. Okay, I'm following you. I feel like we should stick together. Probably. Careful, Julian. Skeletons. Nice. Get owned. I am running out of food though. Yeah, we had Got so like much more, too. Seven more. We can go fish them up. Honestly, this place is not even far from. It's, it's really not. Oh, okay, he's summoning so stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, ow. Cheater. <laughs> we'll try to get you a totem. Let's kill this guy. Okay. Kill them? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm Ow. gonna die! Don't do it. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh, zombie! Damn, you're hella fast. I mean, we're kind of like bringing them back. Oh, one of them died? Nice. The other one floated through the wall! Smacked one of them. I hear an ender. I heard that too. I think we're safe. Uh, he's here, he's here. Oh my gosh, I'm so close to dying. No, Dolan! I am so sorry. I don't know what to do. No! 
I'm coming back. As long as you stay there and watch his stuff. Did you get a totem at least? No, I didn't get a totem. Oh, your stuff's right here. Wee! Damn, dude, all my levels. I know, that's a bummer. Where were you at? I was, what do you mean? Like level wise. I don't know, 20 or 30 or something. Oh my God. Oh wait, where's the fishing rod? Did you pick it up? Yes, yes, I have it, I have it, I have it. Oh my God. Oh, There you go. Whew. All right, I'm, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Yeah, that's a good call. Let's get out. We got we got hella books. Totems on the ground, they're saying. Totems on the Did ground. Did you double check that you don't have it? Uh I didn't even get close to it. I have to leave. I have to leave. I have to leave. I have I might die again. I might die again. Julian! Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to find this totem. I don't have the boat. You, I think you picked up the boat. What? Oh, I have the boat? Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. I might die, I might die, I might die, I might die. No, 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 no. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. No, no, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I died. Oh. Where are you at? I'm trying to find this totem. Chat saying it's here. Screw the totem. But you can have an extra life. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. I died twice. It doesn't matter. We can come back for it. I need you to kill those skeletons under the tree. No, oh, my fishing rod's missing. No, we'll find it. We'll find it. We'll find it. Where is it? Please, 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 please. It's in the water. To your right. To your right. In the water. To your right. Where? Oh my God! Yes. Okay. I did not mean to take any of your stuff. I don't know why the boat went in my inventory. That's really annoying. Nah. It just what happens when you die. So it's all good. I'll grab the, the pee beds. Okay. There's... <sighs> if you want to stay and get the totem... Okay, let me just... Okay, I'm, I'm going to go... <laughs> I can build a boat, right? Yeah, it's hell easy. You just need the wood. Okay, I'll be here. I'll be here. Chat, this is stressful, okay? This is really stressful. Okay, let's just put important stuff in here. Um, important and non-important stuff. Okay, and... Okay. What is this stuff? Sandstone? Get back up. Whatever. Okay, 
Let's make some food. Might want to store the totem. We're like super low on food. Holy crap. Okay. We went through so much food. It's, in it's actually insane. Sorry, little guy. Build another shield. Well, dude, I can't right now. Twenty seven months. All right, let's just and go in and try. So day, I huh? go in and I go left or right. I gotta stand up! Little anchovy, thank you for the redemption. Probably gonna despawn. Oh, this is a bad fucking idea. Leave me alone! It's gone. It was further, so I should have turned the next corner. This is this got really bad really fast. I'm gonna build a boat, I think. Take all the important stuff. Did I leave the books? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, you can put a chest on the boat? Nah, I don't really care.
What's this shipwreck? Um, I passed it and looked around and there were some chests in it. Should I go look? If you want, yeah, look around and see if there's anything I missed. Oh, did you, did you loot the chest? I don't remember. I might have because that was like on the way to the mansion, so it's possible I stopped. I've only found one treasure map so far. And it might have been from that from that shipwreck. That's pretty cool. Did you find anything? Uh, no, they were just empty chests. Okay, that must have been one that I looted. It must it might have had like emeralds or something in it. I gave you a saddle, right? For a horse? Yeah, I have a saddle. Okay, cool. Oh, it's a boat chest, I see. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stay, stay in your bed. Stay. Stay. Oh, she's hungry. It's, it's dinner time for her. She's looking at me like, what the fuck do you think you're doing not feeding me? Am I going the right way? I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh uh. No. No. No, no. Don't be rude. You're being rude. Mind your manners. Do you want to sleep soon? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to find my way back. But we can sleep. I can pull off on this beach and sleep real quick. Up to you. It's probably for the best. Uh, yeah, I'll sleep. Okay. Basically, when you're coming back, you basically go straight across and then go left. Okay, got it. Yeah, Nay, I got those skins. Yeah, the skins in the Fortnite shop last night popped off and Nay messaged me. That was huge. There was so much Marvel stuff. I don't think this is the right way. I think I'm going to go more that way. I'm like, I'll turn around. What'd you think of the new Thor movie? I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. 
Saw it twice. I would see it again, too. Who wants to go? We should definitely just have our cords for our base. What is, what's the cords at the base? Um, I gotta look at a picture I took on my phone. Coordinates of the base. I think it's this. Oh wait, that might be my other base. Uh oh. Okay, let me go up. Let me go up to the base. Just rough. Like, where are you at? Like, what are your coordinates? That's all I need. Like, do you even have just like your coordinates? Uh, I was down in the mine. Uh, I'm going up though, real quick. I'll be able to tell you in like two seconds. All right, coordinates, minus 234. Oh, no. Minus 103. Okay. Thank you. Is that good? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, this is the direction I got to go. Yikes. Minus I feel like there should be food that has like lasting buffs. Is there a food like that? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. You mean like if we made like soup or something? Yeah. So like we were not to keep eating, it would just it would it would over time kind of give us. I feel like there might be. Wow, I got hella lost. Golden carrots. Gold apple and carrot. Oh, they're saying gold items. Okay. I have to start farming more gold. Holy crap. Okay, we got nine emeralds, though, out of that, even though we lost levels and whatever. Nice. I think I had a couple, too, that I put in there. I'm going to do a quick little BRB, all right? Okay. Yeah, take your time. Chat, I'm going to go ahead and feed the doggos. And I'll be back in a sec. So Peach doesn't uh, bully me for the rest of the stream. BRB.
Sleep time, Julian.
Alright, I'm back. What's with all the eggs in chat? Oh. I got some chickpea rice and some zucchini and some vegan chicken with a little barbecue sauce. This is a stressful day of Minecraft. Oh my God. Look at all these books. Hella books. Hella studious. Yeah, they had so many Marvel skins in the story yesterday in Fortnite. They had Hawkeye. They had the Thor skins. 
bunch of Spider-Man stuff. Nick Fury. Thanos. It's like so much stuff. I didn't get all of them. No, I got the... There was a, like a $25 pack that I bought because it had Black Panther in it. Um, yeah, the Thor came with Jane Foster and a bunch of um, cosmetics. The The Spider-Man one is really cool. It's a No Way Home. It's got the, um, the red and the black suit. You need some food? I got extra. Uh, I think I'm chilling. There's also should be hella carrots in the box. I think I saw hella carrots in there. Oh, nice. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, Moon Knight was in there. Mm-hmm. So I enchant the books with levels, or how, how do I enchant the books again? You go to the enchanting table, you put in uh, the book, and you put in the blue And I have to stuff. use levels for that? I think you, if you're just trying to like clear your enchants, I think it's just one. So let's say if you're, if you're trying to get a specific enchant for your pickaxe, you really just want to get one for your pickaxe. You put it in your, you put the pickaxe in to see what you got. You got, you'll have an option of three. If you don't like any of those, you basically put a book in, use one of your levels to enchant the book once, like the most cheapest one, and then, then put your pickaxe in it again. It should be different ones, I think. Got so it. It takes a little bit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like that's how it works. I'm trying to remember. You want to sleep? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Yeah, Evie, we found a mansion. Warning. Warning, warning, warning. Do you get diamonds? Mm-hmm. Sheesh. Do you want me to come mine it with my fortune or my uh yep. fortune two? I'm in strip mine number two. Okay, I'll be right there. Damn, it's a nice vein. There's four. Oh, let's go. You can't say vein. Sorry for saying vein. Why can't I say vein? <laughs> you can't. Oh, okay. Has the nurse ever told you when they're putting a needle in your arm that you have a nice vein? Mm, no, I, I don't talk to nurses. <laughs> okay. That's a good, that's a good rule, I think. <laughs> they're like, how are you feeling? You just stay there silently. <laughs> just ignore them. <laughs> Hella mad for no reason. It's such a great compliment when someone says they have a nice pain. I love that. Say nice and juicy. Yo, it's like Monday in the middle of the day. Grass. Brought up veins, not you. What? 
It's Minecraft. There's a vein of diamond. What? Warning, warning, warning. Warning, warning. Let's go. Okay, hold on. Let me come. You're down in the mine, right? Strip mine number two. Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, I found a nice... <laughs> nice bleep. <laughs> This one's actually bigger. I found a bigger one. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six potentially. I'm coming. Wee. Benstein. Chat, you need. You need to go roll around in the grass, not just touch it. What the heck? Chat, you're nasty. You should inject some grass right Diamond. into your- Diamond! You want me to harvest these? Yeah, I left them for you. I got three from one. Yeah, that's huge. That's big. Nine. Almost big as that. <laughs> okay. Nine total from that four. Okay. You're going to get more for this because this is how oh. many? Look how big this one is. One, two, three, this four. This is the biggest one I think you can get. I think you hmm. can get, I think fives are the maximum. All right. We're at total 10, 12, 13, 14. Four, Sarah wait, Cab, wait. please do. 15. I think you nice. picked one up. Big. Oh, I did. I got three. I got three here. 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 Oh, 18 from that? Holy. Are you burying me? Can you move? I'm trying to fix the... I'm not Get burying... I'm not burying you. I'm, Will. I'm feeling claustrophobic. <laughs> Use some torches. I was. Gosh. I don't have any torches. I don't have any. I can see that. I'm running away from you. Give me my diamonds. I'm gone. This is Minecraft dark mode. <laughs> That's some uncivilized stuff right there. Mining with no torches. Did you kidnap a villager? No. Okay. I hired a, a partner, business partner. Okay. Because I'm I'm hearing that they don't have benefits. I'm hearing that they're suffering. What? Who is literally saying this? This is Rat. slander. I'm going to sue them. Okay. Chat, you hear that? Who wants to get sued? Anybody? I like, I like how the people, I like how the people who have been playing Minecraft for a long time, they say they deserve, they deserve to suffer. <laughs> Everyone who's like fed up with villagers. Why is there like, why is it so hard to find damn coal? It really is sometimes though. Can we sleep? Can we sleep? Can you sleep? Can you sleep? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. anniversary Yule. I'm not trying to get TTS rights taken away so all I'm going to say is, go women, go non-binary peeps. Men, how about not? <laughs> so true.
Uh, you can, I don't think you can sleep in the nether. Bell. Well played. They give it the 25. I need to save some of this food for later. I'm not going to finish it. sleep in the nether. Uh, nothing to see here. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm not seeing anything. I don't know, man. Whoever <laughs> said these villagers should suffer is right. Should I stab him? No, 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 no. We can, we can, we can work this out. Yeah, close the door. Close it. He's literally stuck. He keeps opening it. I know. He can't walk in because of the carpet. Can you push oh, him? he's stupid. Push him. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah. to. It's working. It's working. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Now, can I shoot him? Beat. No, don't shoot him. Okay. Sorry, I won't. Okay, on your screen, do I have, um, hella arrows in me? No. Okay. Uh, none. It's just a bug, bug on mine. Exactly none arrows. I'm gonna stand on this bridge and go get a Diet Coke. Coke girlies rise. Cheers. <clears throat> oh my god, that's hitting today. What the fuck? You had a vanilla cherry coke the other day? Dude, me too. Well, at the theater they have that machine where you can choose whatever flavor you want. I got the diet vanilla cherry as well. Oh, so good. That machine is amazing. Hey, hey, hey. you're making a scene over here. Damn, we're up to 32 diamonds. We might be able to both make a... I don't think I've ever seen Jillian drink Coke. Uh, well. Full armor set. Just hits different in my old age. True, 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 true. Big true. I name you. I saw uh, Thor.
chat, please. We haven't even gotten to sexy DVD yet. Yeah, y'all are like hella feral right now, and we haven't even played DVD dating sim. We're still playing Minecraft. I said I found a I blank of diamond. What do you got? I got a price. Okay. Where are you? Down below? I'm strip mining, yeah. It's been a long week. It's Monday. chat okay you're true you're true fair enough one did you go into the the, the left one, one i think oh yeah left one i see you i see you i see you yeah, too you went hella far yeah i've gone for like three miles a little something a little something something what do you got? What do you got? A book! Enchanted Infinity! <gasps> How did you do this? How did you do this for? I'm a, I'm a wizard. He's a wizard, y'all. Yo, thank you so much. What a legend. Hey, what's up, Cash? Hope y'all had a good Monday, because I didn't. I'm sorry you didn't. People don't usually strip horizontally. Impressive. If we have enough levels to like slap that on a couple bows, we could make some diamond armor and go back to that mansion and just do absolute work, I think. Oh, I like that. Full diamond equipped infinity bows. No one's going to touch us. We play Valor, we'll jiggle peek everybody. Yeah. Dropping smokes. Drop smokes. Bags. I might even ult. Might even ulti on him. <laughs> yeah, I'm down for that. I'm down for that. When are you thinking? Right now? Yeah, as long as we can enchant. I don't know if I have the levels for it. Let's test. All right, mine's only, it only cost me four. To get your so, bow infinity? Yeah, as long as you have four. Okay. I'm coming back. I'll come back.
sleep? I'm almost up. I'm almost up. All right, all right, all right, all right. We go. I think there's diamonds under the bridge by lava. We can check. We can check that. <laughs> Not the poo vein, that's nasty. Um, okay. Do, should we make diamond set of gear? Armor? What do you think? Wait, how do I do this? Uh, I do the book? Oh, no, no. Anvil, anvil. Oh, anvil. Okay. That's yeah. right. So if you want to combine like an item and a book, or like two items, you use the anvil. Got it, got it, got but, it. But if you're enchanting like an uh, something without a book, like for the first time, then you use the table. Got it, got it. All right, should I make us diamond stuff? Mm, honestly, I think so. I think we, I think we ditch our there you our go. gear on the floor. Oh my god. There's another one. Do we have enough for two helmets? No, we don't. Okay, so we we should both have. Um, pants and chest. And that's pretty much all the diamonds we use so far, but that's worth it, I think. That's worth, that's worth. So, um, I just need one arrow. Yeah, yeah, I only have one, so... There should be one somewhere, I would think. If not, you, you should be able to make one. Okay, there's literally four or five stacks of carrots in the farm. Okay, box. okay. Grab those. Um, I'm just gonna take one of these chests just for like our own personal like stuff to throw in. Good call. I should make a new shield, new shield. Do you have flint? Mm, I don't think I do. But there should maybe be a little bit in here. Oh, there isn't. Uh, yeah, I don't think I do. If, if you need, um, grab an emerald and trade the... Um, the bow. Oh, for the arrows. Forever. That's right. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can do you can do one one for like fifteen arrows or something. Okay. All right, I'm feeling pretty pretty good. Yeah, I'm feeling big. I feel way more confident with this bow. All right, I'm ready to set sail. As long as you have okay. food uh, and a bed, that's all we need. Okay. I'm just doing a little reorganizing. So the gear is now on the bottom. Putting books in the crate right next to the library. When you're okay. looking at the library on the right. All right. <clears throat> I 
Just dropping this off. We go. Set sail for adventure. Are carrots the quickest to eat? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. I think I just <clears throat> grew a bunch of carrots just because it's what I had. You forgot your arrows? I don't need them. I only need one. For the farmer. How do we make golden food again? Um, I think you combine it. You can combine. Oh yeah, I gotta go in here. You combine the food with like, is it the nuggets? Golden nuggets? Hmm. Maybe we should do that next time. For the superfood? Yeah, golden nuggets. We have a bunch of those too. And they're a bunch really? in the nether. Yeah, they're easy to find in the nether. Revenge, here we go. Golden nuggets around it. Oh. Here comes trouble. Yeah, we're about to make this our our mansion. True. We go. So we have a little station here. Okay. We put our beds down next to it, maybe. Make sure you right click on it, too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. All right, we go. Let's go. Ah, I fell. Oh, we're good. <laughs> ah. Oh, jiggle peek. Jiggle peek. Jiggle peek. I flash. I'm flash. Nice. I flash myself. Pushing A. We're going down A long. <laughs> it's really long. Where the hell is everyone? Now that we are, we come they back. They smell the oh, diamonds. Here's oh, here's, here's, one. One. here's one. I hit him in the head. My KDA. Wow. So high. Smoked him. I stabbed him. I stabbed him. Down the hall. Dude, this game is for ba oh, babies if you have an infinity. Ow! Ball. I'm slow walking. I'm fighting a skelly. <laughs> They're fighting each other. <laughs> Dude, there's so many books in there. I'm you want to so grab them? Sweat. I'm sweating just <laughs> looking, sweating at them. looking at them. Let's go. Let's go. Where are they at? Right here. Down, yeah, you're going that way. This one. What are we even going to do with all these books? Ah! know like what's the purpose of these like is there like a boss at the end of this these little mansions or well, i don't know i wonder because these are supposed to be like kind of rare you're supposed to find these uh with like maps i think mm, but i, wonder I don't what know the point of coming to these is damn we're getting hella smart hella studious
So be on the lookout for hidden chests. And yeah, hidden that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. I don't know how we find them though. Yeah, they're hidden. Are there like patterns in the wall maybe? I don't know. Like what about this? Yeah, I saw that. I don't know. I broke it. I stamped him. Could just TNT the place. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have TNT. I know, we can get some. How? I stabbed him. <laughs> how, how do we get it? Oh, I'll stab him. Oh, I hear an idiot in the other room. You hear him? No, no, I don't. Where, where, where? That like chiming noise? I think that's the guy who summons his little vexes. Oh uh, yeah, look, it's through the wall. You can see it through the wall right here. Ow, spider. I lost you. Come I'm here, I'm you. here, I'm right here, right here. Should we go downstairs, first first floor? Yeah, I wanna Go find a floor. chest, dude. Maybe we're on the wrong floor. You think they could be hidden in here? Maybe, I don't know. Whoa, whoa! That's What's down here? Floor. Oh, it's lava. Should we let it go? Should we just let it? Should we break it free? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if we do, it'll burn the entire place down, I think. You just gotta break the glass. It will. I think it will literally burn this whole place. Wait, wait, wait. We need an escape route for ourselves. Hold on. Hold. This is the perfect escape route. I think we route. should explore this first. I think we should come back to this, and but <laughs> okay. once we're okay. done, we come back and, and burn this place down. Thoughts? That seems like the rational move. I'm gonna go back upstairs then. Okay, yeah, let's go back. I wanna go back. Wait. Later. Was that, was that not, was that, up there. was that not co-op? <laughs> okay, I did. Nice, nice, nice. I stabbed him. I stabbed him. Okay, yeah, let's go back to the front and then go down to the front first floor. Okay. What up, idiots? Oh, I have the I have the flame bow or sword. You do? Yeah, look. What the hell? How'd you get that? I enchanted. Oh, maybe you, yeah, you got like a free enchantment or something. No, no, no. Oh, I, I, oh. it backfired. It's hurting me. <laughs> Use water. <laughs> This is from my accident. Did you pee? No, no, I, I lit myself on fire. Nice, calculated. <laughs> nice. Nice. Julian. Julian. <laughs> the hell shit is this? Whoa! Oh, help me! Whoa! Oh my god. Got him. Nice. Holy. Beljar, thank you. I appreciate you being here. What the heck is this? Got a jack-o'-lantern. There's just a random ass tree in here. Yeah, this is weird. 
Um, let's just check all these rooms. If we, honestly, if we don't see anything, we're going back and burning that the whole place with a lava. Yeah, I like that. I like that idea. Oh wait, I, I hear the the thing you're talking about. That the magical. Wait, what's in here? Those are the weird rooms. Stop shooting! Stop it! Stop! I don't know if that's bad. <laughs> this could be good. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> My chat is exploding. They're no. so mad at me. Sorry, guys. It was an accident. What the Miscommunication. Hell? Anything good in there? These things are kind of cute. I don't know what they are. Hello. Do you want an emerald? Or a piece of potato? Or a carrot? I gave it a carrot. Can we free Look. them? Look, Look. It's, it's holding a carrot. Oh, I gave him a carrot too! Cool. They're, fly they're flying around with carrots! What? <laughs> Idiot. Hey, yo! That's what you get! For hitting those poor creatures! Is there anything what are there? they? I don't know. I've never seen them before, but they're. Dude, really he wouldn't cool. die. Like, good for him, you know? Why are they carrying carrots? Why don't we, they eat them? Because we gave them. I know, but why don't they eat them? Maybe they don't eat carrots. They make a really cool noise. Oh, they're going to follow us home, maybe. Wait, really? They're following us! Whoa! They're like little Pokemon! Cool! Cheers! Okay, we've been here. We've been everywhere. Is there no, a no, basement? No, we, didn't go to the, we didn't go to the end. We didn't go to the end. Dude, this we way, have this way, this way. we we have hella family now. We have an army. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Get some Vamos. carrots. Dude, they are fast too. They're hella fast. They oh, look God. like little Twitch logos. <laughs> yeah, they kind of do. <laughs> Damn, we okay, freed so them. Down down here, there was that noise. Should we just start hammering? Oh. Okay, so this is the wall. Maybe there is a basement. Maybe you're right. Go down. Nope. Not there. It's gotta be above. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go up again. Wait, I found some food? Dude, they don't get lost either. They like, whatever you give they're them, lost. they'll get more of that for you. Oh, like they gather it? That's kind of cool. Okay, where do you think? We should go up again? I think there's maybe a third, up. Third maybe story. up, yeah. I think we miss, miss a level. Dude, they're so, they're so well behaved. Cause remember we went on the roof and there was like a whole other level there. So we, we we're missing some stairs, I think. Damn hella zombies. Ow, the fire hurts. Here, carry, you gotta carry some water. Oh, this is where we go. Going up. Yeah, yeah my sword is kind of a hazard. Idiot. Nice. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is where we should be. This is where we should be. Keep going, keep going. Hey, what's up, Jill? Um I only see one of our little friends. I don't know where the rest of them went. I don't know, they could be down still. 
think you're running too fast. This is like the only one I give a carrot to. Okay, oh, books. Oh, outside. Oh. Nice. We break this. Uh, should we collect these? Let's just collect these books real quick. Do we kill everything here? Seems that way. Everything. Yeah, seems that way. I'm gonna go out on the roof and look. Okay, what do we think? Should we just burn the, with the lava? Should we go back to that spot? Yeah, I want to go secure our friends, though. Okay. Just make sure they're around. Dude, these things are so cute. What? Yeah, I can't believe your first reaction was a smack them. Here they are. I'm feeding them carrots, putting them on the ground, and they, they chase them. Whoa, there's a bad guy in here! Where, where, where? Oh no, Will, I got you, I'm in I trouble. Got you. I'm helping, I'm here. No, stay there, stay there, stay there. I'm a sniper! That's right. Got an operator. Oh, we got an op. Yay for new friends. That was like the last guy. I, I don't I don't think there are any more. I think we killed them all. Oh, I think that's one that they dropped. Cool. It's so cute the way they pick up the carrots. Evan and Caitlin! Thank you for the 34 months. Appreciate y'all. Is there a button? That you can press to drop one of something while with, without it going into your inventory? Um... Yes. Uh... Q. Q. There we go. Oh! Spider! Are they gonna... We gotta make sure they come back with us on the boat. Yeah, I don't know how, how long they'll follow us. We just gotta maybe go slow, you think? <laughs> you wanna light this place up? Yes, I kind of do. How do we get there again? Oh, it's not this one. What floor were we on? I think we it's this that? floor. I think we dropped Is down it? somewhere. was in this back corner, but I don't remember what floor it was on. Yeah. Was it second floor we dropped to first? Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I think it was a, a different floor and we we dropped. All right, I'll, let me check second. Yeah, 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 I found it, I found it, I found it. It's right here. Where you at? Second floor, second floor.
Julie and I got accepted into a district I love so now I went from my dream job to my dream location in the last year with you. Your great luck to me. Thanks for being like an older brother to me. Big Rachel, hey congrats Bye. on that, that was awesome. Super exciting, thanks for sharing an awesome uh, job on your part okay, for, how do, for making it happen. Here? How do we get out? Ow. We can we can set the boat up right here. Arf. Truge. I don't have an axe anymore. Did you just break? It scared me. All right, we That's have good an idea. exit. You want to put the boat there? Yep. How's that? How do we I don't get even these know. things to leave? I mean, will they even die? Like, are they... Maybe I'll get in the boat. Uh-huh. And I'll swim a little bit away so they follow me. And then you bust open the... So they don't get okay, hurt. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Yeah. I'll break it on this side. There we go. Gotta let it burn. Oh my God, light this place up. Is this working? Maybe block Wait. off that. Am I in danger? Nice, perfect. <laughs> I think it's just gonna burn it. Oh, it's lighting it up. Let's go. Wait, I want to get in the boat. I wonder if it'll burn the whole thing. Oh, get in the boat. I'm going to drive to the other side and see if it's starting to burn it. I'm just gonna float for now. I think I'm okay. Dude, okay. it is it is burning. Why is your skin scary? It's me. I wonder how long it'll take to burn the whole thing. I'm with you, I don't know. It's a big castle, like I don't... Yeah, it's a really big building. I'm excited to see like if after it burns will it reveal like hidden treasure chests because i don't think it'll burn the chests yeah i think that's the goal right i'm inside <laughs> mind you oh yeah He's cheating. He's shooting around a corner. What the hell is that? Oh, I hear the... I hear the burning. You do? I hear it. I fell in a hole! Julian! 
Oh my gosh. Help me. You're good. You're good. I don't, I don't have a big X. I mean, I don't have an X. Oh, thank you. You're good. Okay. Let's just exit the same way we came. I don't think it's smart for us to be in here. Okay. Maybe I'll take the boat along the side and see. Oh yeah, it's definitely spreading. It hasn't spread halfway, but it's definitely along that corner. Oh yeah, I see that. Twenty-six months kinda wild. To celebrate here is what's stuck in my head right now. A ham. Mm, lil whip, lil whip, lil whip. Mm, take your pick, take a lick. I Just wonder like, like what this. kind of stuff you mm, can get up, from this building. Lil whipping in your cup. You know? mm, lil whipping dripping flavor. That's like what's with the sunglasses. What's the treasures? Yeah, I have no idea. We should sleep. Do you have your bed? Oh, we left them. No. What is oh, that? Wait, wait, wait. What is that? Trident! Who's throwing a trident at us? Oh, dude, we gotta kill that. It might, if it drops, that's like super rare. Yeah, 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 kill it, kill it. I got him! Did he drop Did it? Did it drop? He... No, I don't think so. No, unlucky. Wait, they're in the go. ground though. Can we not pick them up? No, you can't. Those are like the, what it throws. We can go to our, our beds, which are on this side and sleep at the beds. Can I do that? Yeah. Will it keep burning while we sleep? I feel like it will. And will our guys be here when we? I hope so. Oh, yeah, this is the side. This is okay. the side. Okay. I'll leave some carrots out while we sleep. Okay. Should we sleep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get away from me, zombie! Ow! Oh, they stayed. All right, let's go see if it's still burning. You can duplicate these guys? definitely still burning yep it's oh i heard another trident i heard another one he's down here oh my god he has range on that thing why is he aggroing me only i'm gonna die <laughs> get some air <laughs> Did he drop a shell? I think he drops a shell. Yeah, I don't think he dropped the trident. Yeah, but like the last I, time we I, fought him, did he drop something that we could have grabbed? I think it was just the shell. Did we get it? Shell. It's the same one you get from fishing. Oh. Oh, underwater um, ship. You want to check that while we're waiting for the burn? Oh, right yeah. Here. Oh, where is it? Dive right here. You can see it. I don't have an axe. It's only, it looks like the hat front half. So that you're looking for like a, a, oh yeah, the chest. Anything in there? Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. I gotta nice. go up, I gotta go up. Grab it. I can grab it. I'm living on the edge here. Oh, look at the burning mansion. It's so beautiful. Mm, not a whole lot of good stuff in there. It was like, 
enchanted leather or something. It was all right. All right. This is so cool. Oh my God, look at that. That is actually so cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I mean, TNT was fun, but the slow burn is kind of sick. Yeah, it is really cool. I like it. They're sitting in my... They... They're in the boat. I can't get in because they, they took it. Really? I don't even see them in there. Oh, I do. <laughs> what the heck? Damn, when you can fly, but you in a boat. It looks like you're feeding the fish. Get the carrots. Should I not be in here with them? I kind of... Oh, what's don't... on fire? Whoa! I think... I, I kind of feel like they can't die, but maybe that's just me being optimistic. Look at these two little shits. They stole my boat, dude. <laughs> I know, mine too. I'm about to break... I'm about to break my boat. You can fly. Let me get in a boat. <laughs> you socking the hell out of your boat? <laughs> I think one of them burned and perished. <laughs> really? Yeah. Damn. I thought they would. I thought they couldn't die because you hit them with a. I hit them hell of times. Diamond sword with burn or something, and they were like, "I'm good." Kieran, thank you for the little whip. <sighs> Where's the loot? Give us the loot. Kind of want to explore this burning building. Is that a bad idea? F it. I think they're saying there's like a chest. Oh, I see a chest. I see a chest. You do? Yeah, where, it's where? floating. It's floating. Where? It's over here where we just were. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do we get up there? I can't go because they follow me and they're going to die. So you got to go get this. Just build your way up with cobble, maybe. Okay. Where's my boat? Oh, it's right here. This feels dangerous. Everything's fine. Uh, uh, the only thing is if I fall, I land in the lava. Siren Song, thank you for the stand redemption. Been part of the fan for years. Six months ago, so I don't catch streams anymore, but still love you, Ding Clough. Miranda! Oh my gosh! Congrats and GG's! 
Kristen, thank you for the 21 months. All right, I've reached the chest. Okay, moment of truth. <laughs> Wasn't worth it. <laughs> what was in it? Okay, there's a diamond hoe in here. Sheesh. Sheesh. And an enchanted book, sharpness three. That's actually not bad, but everything else is just like coal and string and stuff. Can you destroy all of the glass and see if there's like a, someone said there's diamond in there. Oh wait, I have another chest behind me. Hold on, let me, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me clear up some of my inventory. How about Charles sits in my in my chair while I stand? Sure, that that works. That works. Uh, B. Gavin, thank you for the redemption. One sec. All right, chest number two. Wait, someone said there's diamond in what? In the in lava, the but I could be wrong. I I don't know. Okay, next one has a golden apple. Sheesh. Sheesh. A, lead, a lead and some... Oh, chain mill. That's kind of cool. So that's only the second chest I saw. Um. Okay, how do I get back to the lava? I'm by it if that helps. Okay, I'll come to you. Classic Katie, Miss Typo, Miranda, thank you again, Joanne, Joanne, Cupcake, Rune no Crafts, thank you for the four. I don't know what these guys are, what their purpose is, but they're cute and they go fetch stuff, so. Uh, the only okay, issue is. I see is... another one, I see another one at the beginning. Do you think I should break these? Uh, F it. Cupcake, good luck on your surgery date. You think I can jump off the roof into the water and take no yeah. damage? Yeah, of course. Are you rolling? I'm rolling. An 8K, 10K. All right, my name's Will. I'm about to jump off this 10-story building into the water. Wait! Cool. Nice. Yeah. I I didn't I didn't have a I didn't have I didn't have the lens cap off, but I think it looks good. Should we just my bow feet, back now? My feet hurt. Wait, there's one more chest. Oh, okay, okay. You want to loot one? Go loot. Well, one. I'm afraid to I, I drag I drag these guys into the fire. They die. Nah, they'll be okay. But what if they die? I'll never forgive myself. Well, you forgave yourself from hitting in the beginning. You yeah, but I love it. them now, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go the long way. Oh, I hate this. <gasps> oh! Where are they? Are they just the floating chests? Yeah, you just kind of walk around and look for the floating chests. I've, I've only gotten three so far. None of them have been really that good. Okay, here's another one. 50 who? 52. Thank you. <laughs>
Karina. Thank you for the 52. Yeah, we're doing some parkour here. I just saw one up here and I lost it. Where did it go? You find any? Uh, this is difficult. Let's drop some of this useless cobble off. Some of this, this. Don't care. Don't care. Oh, it's right here. Oh, the diamond hoe! Nice. That was the one I found. Let's go. How are you accessing these so fast? I'm just like building up with cobblestone, like straight up to them. Oh, we got some music, music discs. Should I grab those? Yeah, why not? I like music. Oh, there's one right here. Bunch of nothing. Yeah, most of these crates have nothing in them. Yeah. Did you get that one oh, to your right? There's two, no, I didn't. There's two to my uh, to my right. Can I get to them though? Um, I can get the one floating behind you. Can you? Yeah. Damn it! Can't make it there. Hey, be chow the Yulin and chat. How's everyone doing? Oh, I was. <laughs> All right, I'll go. I can't, get, I can't get the floating one behind you. That one. Yeah, they're dying. Oh, I hate this. They are? I, I didn't see them die. Honestly, there's not a, not a lot of good stuff in these, so we can probably just bounce. Okay. I was hoping for like some, uh, ow, some like enchanted stuff or like some books. Unless we got unlucky. Oh, there's a the golden Maybe. apple. Nice. String, nothing else. Damn. Okay. Well, I mean, it was worth it because we got to burn it. That was pretty sick. All right, we go. Oh, did you get right. this one at the bottom? Oh, yeah, you got that one. Nice. Yeah. Do you want to sleep real quick? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm at the bed. I'm at the okay, bed. okay, okay. <laughs> Freaking fire. <laughs> Okay, nice. Nice. Back to base. Maybe they'll follow us. Yeah, hopefully. Do we leave our beds or take them? Uh, either. We can we leave can them. Take them. It depends if you want to come back here. Yeah, let's leave them. Oh yeah. Do we do we have plans on coming back? I don't know. Eh. Probably not, right? I don't know. Unless maybe once it like fully uh, burns, maybe it'll be another cool like just yeah. thing to explore, but. 
All right, let's go slow because I want them to. Is that slow? I think that's good as long as you don't shift. Oh, okay. No shift. We good? I can't, I can't, I can't really spin all the way around. Me neither. What if I go backwards? Oh. Nope, too slow. Yeah, they're following us. Okay, okay. Ariana Ponders, uh, Carly, Hecking Sophie. Miss Typo, Karina, thank you again for the 52. Welcome back. Did you get this stuff in your storage? Oh my god, I just sat down. I was like, who the hell's in my chair? I was Turtle. How did he get there? What's up, turtles? Yeah, we got our friends home. Where do we keep them? Yeah, OG. They, they no follow idea. you and they fetch food for you. I'm trying to give him a golden apple so he can go get me more. Does it work like that? Will they go out and like search? I think they get whatever you give them, but this. <sighs> like, I don't know how to like take their I item think you away. Have to hold it and right click it on them. <gasps> no, that didn't work. I tried to eat it. Oh. Uh... Hmm. Empty hand right click. Oh, here we go. Empty hand right click. Oh, oh you can take it. Oh, yeah, look, okay, look, look. Okay. Give him the apple. Maybe they take won't take apple. golden apples. Oh, wait, he's leaving now. You gotta, you gotta hold it and right oh, click. Oh, wait, dude, he got a golden apple. Yeah, he I just gave it to him. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, when they're empty, you hold it and you right click on them. So then swap to your apple. Nice. There you go. Wait, yeah, they're kind of leaving. I wonder if they're going to like look for it or what? Maybe they're going to look for it. Hmm. Wait, 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 we can give them diamond? Dude, wait, 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 give them a diamond and see if they go get one. No way. Do we have any spare no diamond? Uh, maybe an emerald and give one an emerald. Okay, I'll get a diamond, you get an emerald. Wait, hold on. I got to drop off some of my shit. I'm like full. Okay, what did you say the new did you re reorganize some of these? Oh books. Oh yeah, yeah books are right books. there, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way they they uh fetch diamonds. I I don't think so. That would be that would be pretty wild. Dude he's carrying a diamond around! Oh my god. They're carrying diamonds and emeralds. Wait. <laughs> That's hilarious. Huh. 
So they can't go farm this, but they'll probably go pick it up if it's on the ground, maybe. Oh, I think I think people are saying that it, if you it might deliver it to me. So if you give it to some, if you give it to one of them, like if you clear it, <laughs> they're like our little messengers. Yeah, like they deliver. Watch. Let's see if I if I give this one the the emerald. Let's see if he'll he'll run to you and give it to you. Okay. Let's see. Okay, he's chilling. He's literally wandering. He's flying. He went. Okay, he's coming. Is that? Is that? Conf yeah. Did well, it work? I mean, he's here. I took it. Try to, try to give like one of them something. Okay. See if they'll, they'll deliver it to me. I'll be over by the bridge. Why is this one so high up? Why is he so high up? Is he leaving? <laughs> Yeah, these guys are trying to give me my the the diamonds that I gave them. But like, here you go. Thank you, sir. All right. I gave him a carrot. See if he brings you one. Okay. Evie, that is false. If they don't have an item, they'll wander. Yeah, I was trying to give him an item, but he just uh, took off. Honestly, they're kind of wandering even with items. Yeah, it's a little confusing, huh? Alright, I gave this one a carrot so he doesn't wander anymore. Like, this one's just sitting on an apple. Like, I... The... They can probably only get stuff that's like available on the surface levels. They can't just summon maybe. like diamonds. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, one of them brought me a carrot. Yeah, it brought me a carrot. Oh, okay. So they're are, they're like our little text messengers. Yeah. Either way, they're really, really cool. They are. They're really cool. I like the addition of them. I wonder when they were added. All right, here's what I want to do. All right, I'm, I'm sending one to you. Let me know if you get I'm just, it. I, I did, <laughs> I, I'm, they're zooming. I just put eggs in all of them, so they're gonna run around the farm and grab again. eggs. <laughs> gonna loot the eggs. <laughs> yeah. Egg goblins. Grantonio. Oh, they should redownload it. Me. Are they really? That was cool. Yeah, I had two of them. I gave them eggs. They went and gathered them, and they came back and then chucked them at me. See, this one's got a gold carrot for you. I know some of these have <laughs> some valuable stuff. <laughs> They're little loot goblins. <laughs> Yeah, OG, I hit one of them like 10 times before I realized they were friendly. Ah, oh, these guys are so cool.
sleep? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's sleep. Let's sleep. Oh, what you making? I just upgraded my infinity bow with uh, some a power uh, bow and arrow that I had fished up. Nice. Do we have leather anywhere? Uh, no. I gave okay. up on farming leather Coming after up I found to a year all those being books. on the NHL social media team and wanted to thank you and the Dinks for helping me find the laughs during a huge part of my life. Love your less than three. Yo, Airy Bass, that is awesome. NHL social media team, you're owning. That's so cool. You're owning. Yeah, what is Aqua Affinity? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I wonder if they're helpful. Oh, it speeds up how fast you mine blocks underwater. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. I wonder if these little um, Twitch birds are are helpful. Uh, like if you're mining and you're like, oh, I can't carry this and you give it to them. But that would only be one of something. Um, yeah, it definitely seems like it's if anything that is like on the ground, they, they're able to pick it up pretty easily. I don't think they can gather anything, but if, right. if you can like walk over something and pick it up, that's right. how they, that's how they interact. But if you if they don't have anything in their hands, they wander. So they always. Mm hmm. Yeah. Huh. The cows. Need to uh, gather some leather. Hope you had a good day today. I got peed on by one of the dogs at my work. Oh, Mighty Bean. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm not I'm not laughing at you. I'm sorry. Uh speaking of that, let's run some ads. Top of the hour. I 
the hell shit? Where are these cows at? Galaxy, I hope you had a good session today. I like that they're, they fly. Because I feel like they'd get lost so much easier if they were just walking behind you. All right. What are you doing, Julian? I am... Um, I'm looking for cows. Okay. Well, good luck. That's it for me today. I'm, I'm pooped. GG's, dude. GG's. If you mine, good luck. May you be blessed with many diamonds. Um, but have fun, and we'll we'll plan another day. Thanks, brother. Yeah, this was a good, productive day. Well, love you, dude. Thanks for the games. Love you too. I'll see you soon. Peace, dude. Later. Oh, we're gonna go the other way. I think we had good success finding animals that way. Bye, Will. GG's, Will. GG's, Will. My goal right now is to find this leather and then go into the mines and to the water spots of the mines and try to farm those like glowy fish so I can make some glowing frames. That's my goal right now. Mate your cows at home. True, I guess I can do that. How do I do that? What do I give them? Wheat. Good call. Cass, have a good lurk. Were you fishing for enchantment books? I was fishing for levels. Get in the mood! Oh, they just popped out a little one. <laughs> Create a top secret room just for me. Picking me. Everyone get some. Get to work. Is there headshot damage? That was collateral damage. <laughs> I didn't mean to ah, sorry, horse. Button? 
buttons? That's buttons? Did I hit, did I hit buttons with my arrow? Is that Will's horse? Oh, they just ate hella hay. There's two cows left, I think, and two baby cows. Okay. No, no telling on me, chat. I didn't mean it. How many leathers? I have three. I need more. I need more. Let's go get some hay, uh, wheat, wheat, not hay. Are we out of wheat? Are we not growing it anymore? Oh fuck, we're not growing wheat anymore. It's a bummer. Do you think he'll mind if I... So how many blocks, if I do it in the middle with water, how many blocks can I have? Five, so it's five by five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nine by nine, okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's right here. basically just recreating what we had before. So now we need... Wheat seeds, okay. Put some fencing up. You like the crib? Oh, thank you.
Can you not make netherite uh, walls? Huh. cows Here we are. Okay, see, this is why I'm making these signs. Because I would have known these were in here way long ago. Put the die in here. Die and carpets in here. Cauldron. Do we need that for anything? Mm. 
There's too many goddamn animals. My boyfriend proposed to me today in a national park? What? My gosh, congrats. That's a good amount, I think. I'm trying to uh, breed the animals. We have one of these. That's pretty cool. It's just a little lighter color. It's not really glowing, but that's fine. It's just bright in here. Oh yeah, it does glow a little bit. That's pretty cool. And we find those where? We find those underneath? In the water in the mines?
Did that one not drop a leather? I thought that was a guaranteed drop. yet no i don't my sword is kind of trash to be honest because it has this flame enchantment and it's kind of a nightmare it does cook the meat that is true I think it's time to go downstairs. That chicken had a short life. Oh my god. Did he get stuck? What was that? When are we playing the DVD? We gotta start that, I guess. I'm just getting lost here. I wanna try to go get those glowing, uh... Shard, Shard D, Shard, thank you for the uh, five, Mad Dumb, thank you for the five, appreciate the gift subs. Boobthology, thank you for the year, welcome back. Guda Gita, thank you for the eight, Paris, capital 17. Thank you for the subs, y'all. lava. Is it over here? Yes.
thank you for always being my comfort streamer, growing heart. Yeah, I can imagine Aqua Affinity is probably a really nice enchantment. What is this? Damn, okay, so there's a... Uh... baddies. There's water here. <sighs> Respiration. Is that a enchantment? I'll just go to the ocean at night? That's it? That's all I gotta do? Easy peasy, let's go do that. Judge, yeah, it's impossible not to watch him. He's crazy. I wasn't I wasn't super hyped about the Juan Soto trade though. I like not a big Padres fan, so but it's still fun to watch him. There's just some powerhouses. My my favorite player of the year though by far has been O'Neill Cruz. He's just like he's just like a different type of player. I don't even know how to describe him. He's what the hell? That guy is uh, crazy. He hits the ball like 120 miles off his bat. He throws it like 100 miles an hour from short to first. What is happening here? Okay, I can't be bothered. Oh my God, Otani live. Do you know if he's throwing that day? It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. I'm too heavy. Hey, yo. Oh, perfect, it's nighttime.
Yeah, unfortunately the Angels are E. But someone who roots for the Red Sox, I feel your pain. You know, this season's not been good. Regardless, though, there's been some fun games to watch. Just not, you know, all the teams I want to win. Hey, yo. Come on. Whew, close one. Hey, yo! We're rich! Oh, there they are. Come here, you fuckers. Oh my god, this is, they're so deep. I'm doing it wrong. They're not dropping anything. I'm doing it wrong. What am I doing wrong? Oh, they didn't die. Oh, okay. There we go. them twice okay they go dark when they're damaged oh i see okay so we don't want them to go dark Oh, we do want them to go dark. Wait, I'm confused. You need doors, place them on the ground for air pockets. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it. Okay, I think that's all we got for today. Oh, I did it wrong the whole time, so... Are there any more lingering? What is all this?
All right, OG, have a good time on Subnautica. They just had the quickest baby of all time. Come here. The fact that he still hasn't realized what. What have I not realized? Alright, let's build these, uh... Oh, put the ink in here. Yeah, Will was on earlier. Actually, no, we'll just make them now. Yeah, those look better. <laughs> baby cows can't mate. I know, but I'm feeding the baby cows so they grow. Is that what I'm supposed to do or they just grow anyway? Oh, it'll grow anyway. Will it speed it up if I feed them or is it completely negligible? I can't believe that ship we found had so much iron and stuff. That was wild. I think we put one of these on here. We'll put the saddles in here, the leads, name tags. We'll put the 
some music over there too. We're getting close. How does it work with the doors? Underwater. Place it and it creates a one by two air pocket. Oh. Okay. Just any old door. to take multiple. Where is my bow at? Right, we should make another one. got ice should we trap this guy what am I gonna do with one block of ice Haley I don't know what my least favorite type of food is Huh? 
No, no, idiot. Go in there. I'm trying to trap you. Oh my God. He'll despawn if I trap him in here. Uh. What? Whatever, I literally... Yeah, I can't deal with this cheater. Actual cheater. Alright, we're more equipped. To get the glowies. Let's try this. What? That's broken. Oh, this is way better. Restaurant tomatoes? What are restaurant tomatoes? What's down there? Hey, Mayor. I can't find deep ocean. I had silk touch. I wanted to grab that light box. Yeah, we have this ravine down here. Maybe we'll check it. Look at these dummies.
We only have one? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dobby, man. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you for the resub. I'm scared. I'm scared. This is too deep. This is too deep. What is going on? Are we not killing them? Is that what's happening? Okay, we got one there. How are you under here? What? Sir? Five, okay. I don't know, we went from two to five somehow. That's great. Gosh, we have so many. I like these little booths that we're creating. They're so cool. I did not know about the door trick. Give me all my doors. Nighttime's about over. What the hell's the Ender doing here? Actually, we could probably go down and get more.
that she's dreaming. Oh, the signs look so good. Classic Minecraft block. Oh, nice. The glow signs are worth it. I love the way they look. Nice. Looking good, looking good. Are you harassing my... Oh, there's my leather. I got leather, I got four leather, what? Huge, huge plays. Wow, that was awesome. Thanks for the stuff. Thanks for the cozy Minecraft stream. No problem, Mylene. <sighs> I've been outbid. <laughs> Got an alert. I'm gonna BRP chat, one sec.
All right. Time to do some dating sim. All right, so we are gonna play Dead by Daylight, uh, Hooked on You, Dead by Daylight, Dating Sim right now, okay? And, uh, let's go. If you're confused, good. Me too. Okay, seizure uh, photosensitivity warning. Iron Girl, thank you for the, the resub. Good life, Jessup, Zelda Geek, Dobby Man, Halifay, Mattingly, Ella, Violet. Who's that? Huh? What now? Welcome to your dream vacation. Before we get started, what shall we call you? Bussy Ray? back he's back to break more hearts <laughs> oh my god <laughs> cough 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 you wake up on the beach soaking wet bro it's too much already salt water stinging the inside of your throat as if you'd nearly drown water falls okay <laughs> all right enough about the water you have no memory how you got here. In fact, you can only remember your own name, but not where you came from or a single fact about your life. What you do know is that despite the outrageous beauty of the landscape around you, you feel incredibly sick to your stomach. Cough, cough. Wow, really went down the wrong pipe, huh? Need a minute or can I go on? Do you need a minute or can I go on? Because I can give you a minute. We got plenty of time, endless time, really. Ocean. An eternity, if you catch my drift. Damn, Ocean out here. Funny as fuck. That was a good joke, Ocean. Not now, Ocean. Sorry, Blissy Ray. May I continue? Please go on. The Ocean is the character. Okay, then. As I was. As I was saying, look down at your feet, ankle deep in the crystal blue water of the newly arrived wave. As the water recedes back into the ocean, it reveals a grotesque discovery. Huh! A decomposing face stares up at you from beneath the sand. All you can do is vomit. A stream of dark bile, bugs, worms, and other ick. Questions race through your mind. Who are you? How'd you get here? Who's behind this incredibly charming and well-spoken voice in your head? However, answers don't come easy. Your mind is completely blank. What will you do? Run, close your eyes, or dig up that face. Let's dig it up! You brushed away the sand from the half-buried human head embedded in the ground before you. There's no body, just the head. As you pick it up, flakes of skin fall to the ground. The jaw falls open, revealing a gold coin sitting on the rotten tongue of this poor dead soul. Hey, what's up, the ocean? Getting your hands dirty, I see. I like that. You're a take charge type.
You examine the gold coin briefly, happily distracted from what has otherwise been an extremely confusing morning. Sun beats down on you, drying your clothes. You check your pockets, but they're empty. Plenty of room for a gold coin, you suppose, so you deposit it. Well, that's a nice coin you've got there. What if you were to spend it right now? Nah, we're keeping that shit. No thanks. Look, I'm gonna level with you. That coin you found, it's mine. I dropped it yesterday and I've been looking all over for it. Dropped it into a dead person's mouth? Could you just give it back? All right, the ocean. Nah. It's mine. Finders keepers. Be that way then. Your mind doesn't have a chance to linger any longer on your current situation. As you feel something bump into your foot. When you look down, you find a volleyball sitting in the sand next to you. You stare down, a frozen... You stare down frozen, a voice calls out behind you. A little help, please. You turn around, and when you, when you see what's waiting for you, 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 your jaw just about hits the ground. Four years happy to be here. Huh? Let me just uh, hide my cam for you real quick. <clears throat> it was blocking part of the game. Four gorgeous monsters stand halfway between you and a well-tended volleyball court. Each of them oozes with undead energy, a magic, a magical aura reaching out and penetrating you mm -hmm. via your eyes. Your heart begins to race. Curi curiosity, fear, desire. You can't help but stare at all the casually dressed, these casually dressed, let's call them killers. I don't know. Not to be judgmental, but that's just the energy they put out. So many competing feelings rush to your mind at once that you're completely paralyzed. The Trapper. Hello? There are weird days, and then there's this. All you can do is look down at the ball and back up at this monstr hey, monstrous again. line of lineup of, well, literal monsters. Sexy-ass monsters. <laughs> Aminflia, thank you for the 79. Welcome back. What do you do? Toss it back. You bend down, grab the ball. It's warm from sitting in the sand on this beautiful day. When you give the ball a toss, it arcs beautifully through the air and lands right in Huntress's hands. Not bad, stranger. Huntress's muscles ripple as she grips it in her hand. Huh? <clears throat> you look up and down and consider what it might be like to be held tightly in those strong arms. Well, warm perhaps, maybe a little sweaty, but that's okay, it's natural. Try hard. Try hard much? Blech, says the spirit. Yo, the spirit, I'm sorry, the spirit is the only one taking the sun seriously here, okay? We are on this island with no sun cover, no SPF, okay? The spirit, is covered with that hat, okay? Protecting her skin. Everybody else is just like letting it ride. They're speaking directly to you, but you still can't bring yourself to reply. You're entranced. When you snap out of it, you realize that everyone has gone back to the volleyball court. Alone again, you look across the beach at these strange residents who casually bat a volleyball back and forth. 
happily ignoring your intrusion onto their private beach. Should you be frightened, worried, excited? I did refer to them as killers, not to give too much away. But at the same time, damn, they're looking very appealing in their own way and nobody so much as lifted a blood-soaked finger at your direction. Don't be scared, Bussy Ray, you were made for this. Thanks, the ocean. Well, geez, if the spooky ocean voice says not to be scared, I'm sure it's all gonna work out. With no good reason not to, you decide to head over and see what happens next. Seems like you've derailed the volleyball game just by showing up. You derailed the game just by showing up, nitwit, says the trapper. I guess you're also a nitwit. Look, it's just best to go with what Trapper says when he says it. There's a policy I hold for pretty much anyone who seems to have fresh blood on their hands. He literally has blood on his hands. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all just a game. Existence, that is. Says the spirit. Besides, you seem a lot more interesting th than a silly game. Okay, so Huntress is already making moves. What's your deal? What brings you here? You mean... They're here to do more than just distract from my total domination. Deep sigh, says the Wraith. Wait. That's Wraith? I just want to know, can I kill them or not? You know you can't. Oh yeah, not yet. Hey, Bussy Ray, you might want to know. Oh, sorry, you might want to, you know, say something. Actually, never mind, there'll be plenty of time for that soon enough. Right now, this group has some questions for you. Ah, oh, just be warned, this is a time quiz and it'll be very important later. Whoa! All right, we go. Very important. Or not important in any way whatsoever. Probably that one, can't remember. How attractive would you say you are? Very. I'd say I'm very attractive. What do you think it, a very attractive is compared to this? Trapper flexes and his muscles are so tight you can practically see the blood running through his veins. He said vein. Chat, if you don't get your shit together, I'm gonna literally I'm gonna put you on screen so even the YouTube viewers can see how nasty you're being. Everybody needs to go to jail right now. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Invisibility, flight, or super strength? Ooh. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's literally not my fault. Okay. Chat, you can get excited, but you know. Dad's favorite lotion. I'm not going to read that reset message. That is inappropriate. Thank you for the reset. Uh, let's just say flight. Flight for sure. Technically, I suppose I can fly, honestly. It's not that it's all cracked up to be. Don't expose us like this. It's not all that it's cracked up to be. As far as I go, I'm still not where I want to be. What's your best subject in school? Math, history, skipping class. Not math. Not math. History. Skipping class. History. Nice. It's important to know what came before so that we're not doomed to repeat humanity's mistakes. I mean, we will anyways, but still. What's your favorite animal? Oh. <laughs> You're really close. Dog, cat, or what the hell is that? Mustard? Dog. Cat? <laughs> Cat. 
It's a weasel? I'm not gonna select cat. Should I select cat? Should I do cat? Do you need a dog? I can bark. <laughs> All right, chat. Huntress is telling you to bark what you do. Okay, quiet. Calm down. Calm down. Sit. Okay. Dog. You'd look absolutely adorable in a little puppy mask. What's your favorite color? Blue, blood red, three day old corpse. Is that a color? Let's do, let's do blood red. Red. Some call it the color of love, but love is just another word for pain. What's your dream job? Astronaut, nightclub promoter, not working at all. <laughs> uh, not working at all? <laughs> no. Um... I want to say astronaut, but not working at all sounds better. If we get to do what we really want, why work at all? It takes a lot of courage to break free from society's expectations to climb the ladder. Damn, the spirit, that is really deep. Only she could spin laziness into some kind of grand crusade. These damn millennials. Trapper's a boomer? Also, millennials are old now, Trapper, okay? Jeez. Best flavor of ice cream? Vanilla chocolate horse flesh. Why isn't horse flesh swirl an option? I would have chose that. Chocolate. My favorite flavor is pain. <laughs> Me too. Damn, these grippers, put these grippers away, Trapper. What the? Same, same, same. Mine is vanilla, swirled with pain. Oh, swirl. Okay, another fan of the swirl. I think mint chip is the greatest uh, flavor ever conceived myself, but enough about ice cream. Am I right? Shut up the ocean. I'm flirting here with killers. Hold on a second. This reminds me. I, I am right. Always. It's a lesson. It's a lesson you should learn before we go too much further. Do what I say if you want to survive. Pick mint chip. We're teaching lessons now, narrator. Oh, that wasn't the ocean. This is the ocean. That was just the narrator. You rascal, kill or be killed is the rule on this island, even for the faceless voices. What's the best flavor of ice cream? So now we got to listen to them. I mean, mint chip is definitely the best, so. Can you date the ocean? If you set your mind to it. Best flavor is mint chip. So obedient. I think you're gonna do just fine. Anywho, now that they know so much about you, I'm sure the group wants to start getting to know them. I'm Trapper. Pretty much run things around here. I'm the smartest, richest, strongest person on this whole island. Dude, look at that upper body. Sheesh! I don't like losers. If you want to know what a loser is, say hello to Wraith. Hi, I'm Wraith. I'm nothing like everyone else. I, I like nice people and, and loathe big dumb idiots. Hey, what's up? I'm Spirit. I don't like most things. I don't really hate most things either. Either It's not worth my time. But the things I do hate, I really hate, you know? Based on my personal observations, life is nothing but suffering, and society is a carefully calculated life. Right, so just to clarify, it's pronounced Basire.
carefully calculated lie to keep everyone subservient to those in power. It's better to just cho to choose to just not take part. Jeez, it's like she was downright murdered by society. Oh no, wait, I'm remembering Spirit Story now and that's almost exactly what happened. Hey, I'm Huntress. Don't let these bummers get you down. There's loads of fun to be had on this island, along with lots of love. Oh, sorry, lots of fun. Sorry. Uh, there it is. Yeah, there is, if you know what I mean. Grow up, grow a body. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I've explained this a thousand times. I'm dead, but I'm not a literal ghost. I just create a trail of fog and I'm not made of it. They're bullying the spirit, dude. Whatever fog body. Whoa, whoa, hey, yo. That's not nice. He's not nice. You love it. Only sometimes. Ew, really? That's disgusting. That's why she likes it. So far, I hate Trapper. Don't speak for me. I also hate it. Stop speaking entirely, actually. <laughs> for the first time, I agree with Wraith. Let's move on, otherwise they'll do this all day. Besides, if I know this crew, and I do, they'll want to show off soon enough. If we're done playing, let's go do something else instead. Wow, for once I actually agree with the meathead. I say we go to my yacht. It's the massive boat docked nearby. I'll give everyone a taste of true luxury and power. No, I just hate the um, endless, desperate, soul-crushing pursuit of wealth, the way it's flaunted needlessly and the cruelty it in in engenders. What about hanging out by the pool? I find the water calming, simple, beautiful. Huntress goes, hey, what about a volleyball game? Huntress is jacked. Just absolutely jacked. Thank you for always being here. My dad had a pretty terrifying health scare on Friday. It always helps me to come in and vibe and forget about my troubles for a little bit. Thank you and Jenna for being a safe space for so Abby, I hope everyone's okay. Hope everyone's all right. Appreciate the reset. We can exercise and have fun as a group. Ooh, exercise. Are you, are you, you all serious? It's a perfectly good lounge to chill out right there, says the spirit. I'm tired and dad, besides I hate being are in the we sun. Pyromaniacs? Slash yes. Yes, we are some. Where do you want to go? All right, so we go chill by the bar. Go to the beach, which we already are at, or play volleyball. Or we go to the yacht. So Huntress wanted to play volleyball. Wraith wanted to go chill out away from the sun. This is um, Trapper's yacht. Volleyball because we're athletes. All right, we'll play some volleyball. Then we'll chill. I hate that I interrupted your game. You should finish it. Yes, I love to play outdoors. I also love to meet new people. I also love to bring them home to play. That's actually true. If you read her lore, that is true. It's very dark, but it is true. I'm sort of a big kid at heart. Obviously, you are too. I like you already. I hate people who are way too who are too serious. They ruin everything. Well, they do if you don't handle them swiftly. Handle them. Hold on. It's Claudette and Dwight for just one moment. This is Dwight and Claudette, our activities coordinators. Yo, that's so cool. I did not know there were survivors in this. They're also the cooks, waiters, bartenders, janitors, and every other job. They're the only help remaining on this island. This place we call Murderer's Island. Cue dramatic musical flourish. None of the others survived. <clears throat> survived the interview process, I mean. Hence why we shall refer to them as survivors with a capital S. These two have worked here for a long time. So very long, I don't actually know how long it's been. 
Sorry, anyway, I should probably let Dwight and Claudette do their mandated jobs. They sure look happy, but they're vibrating with a nervous energy that's starting to give me the creeps. Huh? We will now escort the group to the venue of your choosing. However, in the future, we recommend waiting for us to present you with your options whenever possible. And just don't just run off to various activities unsupervised. We don't have much autonomy around here. The least you can do is allow us to do our job. I think Dwight is doing Julian's leg routine. Dwight looking good in them, them jorts. Do they both looking good? Like, hello? The most you could do is help us get off this aisle. Dwight! Yes, pardon me, follow us. <laughs> Alyssasaurus, thank you for the resub. That's funny. Hey, narrator? Yes, something I can help you with? These two, Claudette and Dwight, did they just start to mention something about wanting to escape? Is escape an option? Should I be trying to escape? Escape? Them? Oh, no, no, no. I think you're mistaken. Seems like Dwight was asking for help to get off this island, though. Oh, right, yeah, uh, that's true. He was. But he just meant that he wants to get to the other vacation island getaway. A couple miles south of here. It has much fancier accommodations than this island. It's one of those big corporate outfits. Quite exclusive where all the famous celebrities hang out. Very luxurious. Doesn't quite have the charm that this island does though. Trust me, you wouldn't want to go there. With all that money comes a lot of restrictions. This is where you belong. Now, now, off you go. It's time for an activity. On this island, your decisions matter mostly. When I agree with them, not like the other island. So, what'll it be? All right, so we have to basically choose and then confirm the decision. We're getting gaslit by the narrator, I think. Maybe. So this is, I think this is Wraith. No, I think this is Wraith. This is the Spirit, Huntress, Trapper. Let's get drunk. You guys want to go to the bar and get drunk? Uh, so far, okay, so far, uh, Trapper is a bit much. Wraith has got good vibes. Spirit's a little bit of a bummer, but good vibes. And then Huntress is the most positive. So let's go play volleyball and see where that takes us. Wow, so exciting to have someone else into athletics on the island. Spirit and Wraith are so boring, and Trapper's so predictable, relying on brute strength to win games. He has no respect at all for grace and skill. Even her boobs have abs? <laughs> okay, chat, I'm trying to read. <clears throat> Thank goodness you didn't choose the yacht. What kind of person wants to be si a sitting duck in the middle of the open ocean? You're just asking for a sneak attack from an elk. Wondered how long it would take for her to bring up an elk attack. Oh, uh, the old elk attack. Game's starting up again. Make sure you're watching close. She's really something, huh? Elk don't swim. Live in the forest long enough and you'll see an elk swim. Believe you. Believe you, me. Believe you, me. Cheer for me, cute stuff. The killers resume their place on the volleyball court and resume the match they were playing before you arrive. Chat. <laughs> Just remember who we main, okay? Just remember that. Hey, fancy a lemonade? Says Claudette. I see you working up a thirst eyeing those bouncing 
buns playing volleyball. What? We are not eyeing anything. We're looking respectfully. We are looking respectfully, Claudette. Claudette hands you your lemonade. Oh, so fresh, so tart. She leans in and whispers in your ear. Who would you bet on to win? Hmm? Who's the MVP of your little heart? You're nervous. You don't want any of the killers to hear you talking about them or not talking about them if they're into that sort of thing. Just pick someone, please. It's not like we got all day, night, week, month, year, lifetime, eternity or anything. Who put sand in that guy's shorts? Sheesh. Okay, I think, um... We have to pick which one we're watching the most. Well, this wouldn't make sense. He's definitely no. Um, Spirit's not even playing. Or is she playing just reluctantly, maybe? Huntress. Oh shoot, Huntress overheard you. <laughs> she just throws an axe at us and we die. GG's. Oh, you've got your eye on me? I'm flattered that you think I'm good, but honestly, I'm a little annoyed that I've been so flashy with my moves. Usually I'm so sneaky that you can barely see me at all. Huntress is totally kicking my butt. Correct answer, says the Wraith. I'm allowed to support other people on this island, right? Oh, geez. I have no idea what the rules are. Are there even rules? I should have stayed in my secret la Larry. My secret Larry. Wow, what a game. It's a tie. Can there even be a tie in volleyball? No one knows since this is everyone's first time playing. These killers don't usually have time for team sports amid their busy schedule of brutally tearing survivors to shreds. Hey, is Claudette crying? Are you okay, Claudette? Probably just shedding a tear for her lost fellow survivors. You know, this resort had four employees when it opened. It's nothing, I'm totally fine. Whatever you say, boss. Oh look, the killers have dispersed and are all cooling down in their own way. Spirit's reading a novel. Trapper is stretching sensually in between chainsaw curls. Wraith is standing on the beach, desperately hoping that the sand will swallow him up. And Huntress is doing some target practice with her bloodied hatchet. You feel a nudge. Dwight is looking at you expectantly. You should really make a move. Life is short. You could get snuffed out any time of day. Carpe diem, carpe pm, carpe nowum. Go ahead, chat one of them up. Which killer has caught your eye? Chat wants Huntress, okay? It is almost exclusively Huntress thirst in chat. But I, I like these three, I really do. Wraith. I, I'm, I'm curious because we've been clicking Huntress, but if we switch now, I wonder how complicated it gets. Let's give let's give uh, let's give the spirit a little a little love here. Let's see what she's about. Wraith, he's so miserable and hot. <laughs> Um, you make your way over to, the, to the Spirit, who's deep into a thick paperback novel. She looks up at you. Surprised that someone like you has the time of day for someone like me. Weird thing to say, since you barely even remember what someone you are. So far, she seems like an unpredictable gal, though. You could fix Trapper. Ian... He's all yours. What are you um thinking about right now? Vengeance against my father. <laughs> what else? Man, this chick is emo. <laughs> Seems like she'd be great to hang out with at the mall and help you pick out a pair of giant ugly boots. <laughs> Yo! 
They're not ugly. Things are getting pretty gothic up in here. You want to run with that or maybe change it up? Stick with the vengeance or how about the weather? I think the top option is flirting and the bottom is like cool in it. I know, parents really just don't understand. It's like, they were young once too, but they managed to forget what it was like. It's so frustrating. Right? And then they become so obsessed with their job, their status, wealth, and society, they become completely crazed and end up murdering their whole families. Huh? Yeah. Totally blows. I hate parents. My dad was like, you're too young to get your ears pierced. And I was like, but mom got hers pierced when she was a baby. And she was like, it was a different time. Don't talk back. <laughs> then did one of them attack you with a katana? No, but my, my dad stepped on my foot. It really hurt because I've been taking a nap. I didn't have any shoes on. We've clearly uh, both been through a lot. I think you'd look great with pierced ears for what it's worth, says the narrator. Huntress. Come on, everyone. The fun and games can't be over already. I get it, I get it. Volleyball, not the, not ruthless enough. Come here. Okay. Look at us, we crave action, we crave excitement. We crave the thrill of the hunt. That's a Huntress perk, right? It's time to see if our friend here has the hunter's instinct. I saw you surveying me like prey on the volleyball court, Bussy Ray. Huntress waves a bloody axe in the air and you step back nervously before she, you realize she's not waving it at you. She's handing it to you. Don't worry, I've got several of these. Oh, damn. It's important to hone your skills, especially when you're in a new place where threats may lurk around every corner. She must have the leather belt to get extra hatches. You need to make sure that you are the biggest threat of all. Just don't aim those things at me. Mini games consist of two parts. On top, a pointer which rotates in a clockwise direction. And on bottom, a target you're going to be pointing at. Sometimes the target is immediately visible, sometimes it's hidden until the pointer arrives. Press the spacebar to stop the pointer while over the target to win. Okay, I think I get it. Ah, uh, I think I'm ready. Let's do it. That's it? Oh. Fuck! Casual minigamer? Dude, that was hard. It was so fast at the end. I'm impressed, a worthy opponent. <clears throat> I mean, could have been better, but who's keeping score? For the record, I am, and you got eight points. Hatchet throwing, cool, I guess. I like my stabbing to be a bit more up close and personal. Somewhere a loud horn blows and the survivors snap into action. Time's up, you heard him, get to the next activity. Seems like the next activity is mealtime. How quaint. Uh, you were expecting what? Capture the flag? You arrive at the cookout area to find an assortment of picnic tables scattered around. What were you expecting? Some kind of grand hall with a huge banquet table? This ain't some prestigious uh, fa fantasy epic like you'd find on cable. Cable! Dwight and Claudette usher you to your seat, but there's very limited seating directly around you. Oh, and oh great, terrific. It seems everyone wants to sit next to you. Even better is that they don't want to sit next to certain people either. 
No one wants to sit next to Trapper. Meanwhile, he refuses to sit next to Wraith or Trickster. Trickster! Hey there, you're looking good, Bussy Ray, real good. And we literally can't let Huntress and Trapper sit together. <laughs> no, seriously, their arms are too big. They can't fit at the table if they sit side by side. Look at this, we can't even fit on screen at the same time. <laughs> you probably think it was an error, but it's not. It was completely intentional. Let that be a lesson to you. Every error you think you see is a choice. Got that? Dwight and Claudette are directing traffic. You sit on one side, the rest of them will sit up opposite you. Huntress and Trapper can sit at the ends with their enormous sexy arms. Now that everyone's sat, we can begin dinner. Tonight's meal was prepared slowly and carefully with uh, both love and hate for 12 hours over a spit. We hope you all enjoy. We really, really hope you do. It's meat. Seasoned with a specific number of special herbs and spices that we simply can't divulge. My favorite. Meat is good. Meat is murder. Which you know considering what you've been up to. Who are you to get judgy now? I'm just sh sharing facts and you need to murder something to eat its meat. So that's like technically true. Technically, true is the best kind of true. Okay, enough yapping. Let's eat. What's up, Bussy Ray lover? I'm gonna be a person on... It's gonna be a person on that spit, right? What? What? Is that a sentence? I've seen many pigs wearing palm tree button-down prints, you know? When you look closely at this spit, you spot what definitely appears to be scraps of fabric sandwiched between some layers of meat. I think it, I might be sick. Is there anything else to eat? This took 12 hours, says Claudette. We literally do everything on this island. There's actually one thing you're not doing today. You're not carving up this delectable meal. Wow, he's right for a change, because I am with my broad ax. It's the perfect tool for easily chopping anything in twain. First, who says twain? Sometimes I feel like we're all from completely different historical eras. <laughs> Second, I'll handle this with my cleaver. Fast, powerful, and clean. At least it's clean when the meat is cooked. No blood. Where did Trickster go? I saw him and then blacked out. <laughs> you, there were too much barking. He left. He's scared of dogs. You two in your ridiculous bicep swinging contest. Enough. Grow up. Obviously, my gorgeous katana is the only option. Obs. The hell it is. I'll show you both my I'll show you both my katana and send you to actual hell if you'd like. Please stop. I hate when we fight or talk or even when we look at each other in the eye. Yo, Wraith is hella sensitive. I kind of like Wraith. I can do it. I have the skull of Azarov. Great. Instead of slicing it up, you can club it to its second death. He's a cancer. Yeah, he's sensitive for sure. Hey, Bussy Ray, I know this isn't what you want to eat, but hurry up and volunteer to carve up Felix. No, we're eating Felix! I mean, dinner.
Here's the machete, freshly sharpened. Mini games consist of two parts. Okay, we go. Is this the same damn thing? Oh my god, we gotta chop Felix for the mini game. Damn it, we did it wrong again. There we go. That was pretty good. I'd like to see what you could do with a less clumsy weapon. Yeah, I said it. Machetes are dumb. Come here. Come here. Come here. Bunny break. Hi. 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 Why you leave? Why you leave? Why you leave, Galgo? Don't leave. Don't leave. My gal got my other gal. Hi. Hi, gal go. Hi. 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 Oh, your tail, silly. All right. Dinner served. Spirit, meanwhile, doesn't even eat. She's the only one who seems to be really embracing being dead. They're all dead, right? This is obviously hell. I mean, come on. We're still trying to be mysterious here. You think mystery comes easy? Claudette and Dwight aren't the only ones who've been working their asses off to make this night perfect. Well, at least they're lifting their masks. This is only 99% as disgusting as it could be if they just tried to mash stuff through there. Spirit, why aren't you hungry? The two best things about being dead is not having to eat. That's only one thing. Think about it, Bussy Ray. Number two is number two. <laughs> Even if I wanted to eat, I have no idea what what would actually follow. Damn, she ain't be shitting in the afterlife then. See how deep this cut on my abdomen is? I don't think my digestive tract connects anymore. Between the food and the behavior of this group, this might be the worst meal in history. <laughs> but even worse is they're staring at you. You're not eating. They don't like that. I think they want an explanation why. What do you want to tell them? This is gross. I'm sorry. Look at that seagull. Sorry? Mommy? Sorry? Mommy? Sorry, mommy. Look at that seagull. Wow, you ever see a seagull that big? I haven't. That's incredible. Anyways, what were we talking about? Lame misdirect. Oh, she just called us lame, chat. Yeah, she's right, Bussy Ray. Pretty lame. Own who you are. Never compromise. Didn't you wash up on this island with no memory of who you are and how you got here? Yes, you did, poor thing. You have no idea the last time you ate a real meal and you've been standing in the sun. But the seagull, oh, we just made a lot of good points. I swear, you're beginning to feel lightheaded. It waved at me. Either that or someone poisoned you. No, wait, you haven't eaten. You can't be poisoned. You're about to pass out. I brought you here and I might be the only one who can help you now. There's this one thing you must do to survive. You have to figure out why you're really here. No one can tell you, not unless you follow the right path or at least a right path. There's too many of those to count. Hopefully you pick at least one of them because there are even more wrong paths. Many of them lead you to your demise. Others lead you to something even worse. Starting scenes over and having to fast forward back to where you were, all right, am I right? For this place holds many secrets even from itself. But the one that truly matters can only be learned if you answer the most important question. Why are you here? 
Answer that and you'll learn the truth, the ultimate truth. You've made many choices by now. Some of them I liked, some of them I didn't. It's in your best interest to make more choices that I like. All right. You wake up to find Huntress holding your limp body, gingerly pouring cold water into your mouth. Oh, good. You're okay. Sometimes when I try and care for people, they have a way of ending up less alive than when I started. Which would be a bummer if that happened to you. It's been so long since I had a normal, happy, healthy, living person around. She's carrying us, chat. Usually I'm just falling into the same old routine of smashing everyone's head with a hatchet before I get to know who they are. But you, you're not nearly as scared or too busy writhing in pain to, <laughs> to see me for me. You feel nervous in her arms, not just because they're crushing you, but because she's beautiful. Yes, beautiful. I was just gonna narrate that fact, not, you know, say it out loud. Beautiful mask, your bunny mask, it's quite gorgeous. Nice recovery. Did you make it yourself? You're the first person to ever ask me that. Yes, I did. Music? DIY queen. <laughs> you seem so quirky and cool. You could do anything. Own an Etsy store, be a doctor. Why is it that you kill people? Huntress sighs. You can practically see the memories flicking, flicker, flickering across her eyes, but she hasn't tried to kill you yet, so that's a good sign. It's all I was ever taught to do as a young girl, so I thought it was right. She's blushing. Your line of questioning has made her nervous. Hey, you didn't eat much at dinner. Want a snack? She offers you some jerky. Probably human jerky, but her spice game is on point because it smells damn good. Do we eat the jerky? Do we eat some of dried up Felix maybe? When on Murderer's Island, you might as well eat the killer eat as the killers do. Plus you really are hungry. Plus and you can chow down on jerky sensually, right? I'd love some. After a moment of quiet chewing on what you choose to believe is not human thigh meat, you decide to be bold and ask another question. Have you ever been in a relationship before? Dang, you're really going there. You do not play around, Bussy Ray. I, um, hmm. Huntress takes a moment to, to think deeply before answering. I must say, it's quite amusing to see this hulking bombshell get all twisted up. There was this one deer that looked at me quite provocatively in a clearing once, but that doesn't count, does it? Oh no. Oh no, Huntress. You hear the faintest giggles bubble out from behind her mask. Haha, <laughs> you're so cute, Huntress. No, it doesn't count. You found something in the sand. Huntress reaches down to pick it up. It's a hair clip, probably left by some little girl who was playing on the beach who is definitely still alive and not dead at all. Huntress closes the bag of jerky with the hair clip. Seems like she's a little mixed up on exactly how this particular item works. Should you go with the flow or show off some of your knowledge of advanced humaning? I think we just go with the flow. I don't think we change it up. Huntress is admittedly a little scary. Might be best not to correct her at this very moment. What if she gets upset? She could probably kill you with nothing more than this very clip itself. But honestly, why would she even need the clip? Her bare hands are certainly enough to get the job done.
You're feeling ready to get back to the group and have a lie down. Good thinking. Wouldn't want that jerky to dry out. I hate to break this to you, but <laughs> never mind. Just as things are really heating up, you hear a flurry of footsteps behind you and quickly spin around, ready to fend off whatever new danger has popped up on the strange island. Only to find that it's Dwight and Claudette. Clipboards in hand, waving in the air above their heads. It's very important that we stick to the itinerary and attend each event as scheduled. Playing sick for cute flirt points was not a part of this evening evening's activities. Playing sick? No, I was... No time for excuses. Well, there is, but that's scheduled for after what comes... After the flirting. Go, go, go! Oh, nice little fire by the beach. We're not going to blame anyone in particular, but someone, and we're not going to say who, so don't worry, hasn't been sticking to the schedule. That means we're behind on time for evening activities. And we'll only have time for one person to share their special spooky nighttime story. I love your reading. Oh, thank you. Try my best. And we'll, uh, just one story, but story time is my favorite. Of course, Wraith loves story time. This is a narrative heavy experience. You're telling us that the only person, that only one person gets to share? How will we decide who? Oh, we have to decide as a group? That never goes well. So this is going to be our choice. What are you doing? Sorry, everyone. I think they're talking about me, says Bussy Ray. That's us. To be honest, I still don't understand how this whole scheduling works. Guess I lost track of time. Been there before, even though it's taken some pressure off me, which is an absolute dream come true. Is it really fair to pick on the newbie? Has anything ever happened on schedule even once? We all know you love to kill. It's almost all you talk about. Nobody named any names. Who even knows any names? Not us. I renounce my name. Who's Donald? Who's Dwight? Who even knows anymore? Call me nobody. But we still got to get started on... <laughs> His name's nobody now. <laughs> on story time, so... Or wait, wait, is Huntress nobody? Pick somebody so that this insane. tropical vacation doesn't Join turn into a bloodbath. So I can pack. I got my first house. I kind of feel like Wraith is going to be a good storyteller. So a little stressed, but excited. Thanks for good vibes to pack to you. And... Hey, Lissa, congrats! That's amazing. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, you're owning. All right, we're going Wraith for the storyteller. I choose you, Wraith. Whoa, this entire experience is being carefully crafted to avoid IP infringement lawsuit. Let's be careful with the catchphrases, will you? <laughs> That's funny. I'm not really one for scary stories. Life is scary enough as is. You literally carry around a skull and a spine as your little prop. As the other killers laugh, Wraith holds up his skull and gazes into its hollow, dark eye sockets. <laughs> Sierra. Um, as the other killers laugh, Wraith holds up... Yeah. If you're looking for something Shakespearean in this story, look elsewhere. This is a tale of madness, of staring at the soul of death and never returning. Thank you for the spoiler warning. Once upon a time, a young man worked at a junkyard. The man was quiet, kept to himself, just wanted to avoid trouble. While the boss dealt with clients, the young man operated the crusher, turning old cars into cubes of twisted metal. One day, Right before crushing a car, he noticed something. Blood. Drip, drip, dripping. From the trunk. He opened it and found a frightened stranger, bound and gagged. This young man reeled. Was he about to accidentally murder this stranger? How could this have happened? He freed the stranger, who ran off. Into the waiting arms of the boss, the owner of the junkyard before his shaken employee could tell him about the mistake they had nearly made, the boss took out a knife and swiftly slit the stranger's throat. 
The young man fell to his knees, unable to comprehend what was happening as he stared into the ground, too struck, too shocked to cry. The boss approached him. What did you do? He asked. The boss? I did your job for you. What do you mean? It's not my job to crush the... It's my job to crush the cars. The boss let out a miserable scoff, his face contorting in evil disdain for the pathetic wretch in front of him. Why do you think we're crushing these cars? To save space? Who do you think my clients are? I don't know, mumbled the young man. Yes, you do, screamed the boss. Deep down, you've always known what was happening here. You just didn't want to admit it to yourself. Your hands are not clean. My clients give me money and I take care of their problems, eliminate their witnesses, tie up their loose ends, or actually, you do. No, the young man whimpered as the boss towered above him. Yes, you're nothing more than an executioner and you've reaped hundreds of souls. The young man's body shook with soft spasms as he tried to stop crying. It was when the boss started laughing that it happened. Something in the young man changed. He stood up, now taller than the boss. A faint glimmer of fear overtook the snarl on the old man's face. The young man's face was empty. Empty as he grabbed the boss's throat and dragged him to the car in the crusher. Empty as he picked the boss up and stuffed him inside. Empty as he slammed the trunk down on him. It's stupid fat head sticking out, begging for mercy. Empty as he started the machine, staring at the boss and its sniveling, crying, wet face. Empty as he grabbed the boss's head, dug his fingers in farther, piercing the skin. Empty as he squeezed and pulled. Empty as he heard bones popping and snapping. But when the boss's head, still attached to his spine, pulled cleanly out of its disgusting sack of a body, he smiled. Wraith stares back into the eyes sockets of his skull. Doesn't matter how good you are, how innocent, how kind, how full of love you once were. When you look into the eyes of evil, you'll surely go mad. An awkward silence falls upon the room until... Ooh, we should ask about the story. That poor young man, I wonder what happened to him. Oh yeah, uh, we may never know. Well, wherever he is, I hope he's okay. Can't tell, but I think Wraith just smiled. Sorry, it's just weird to see him do it. On that note, everyone decides it's time to take a break and split up for a little bit so they can all have a moment alone before bed. Everyone leaves and you're alone by the fire. The only thing you hear is the ocean slowly lapping against the shore. This is nice. True moment of peace and tranquility that lasts for all seven seconds because the trickster shows up and he's blaring his latest song. Hey baby, you look lonely. Mind if I join you? He doesn't wait for an answer. I know you've been hearing from these guppies all day, but I want you to hear something from a big fish like me. Something special in char for the those in charge of this island don't want you to hear. I'm the ultimate catch of this island. The only lobster in an ocean of sardines. No one can give you what I can. You just have to find me. Come find me, baby. <laughs> Trickster leaves. You're a bit confused as to what to make of his cryptic clues, but you aren't going to get any time to yourself to think about him just yet. <laughs> Wraith approaches you. Hey, I'm probably making, uh, not making a great impression because I uh, guess that's not really my thing. I just know that if you got to know me, then I mean, look, the, the others aren't around. And I really hate the fire pit. I just kind of hate fire in general. Maybe we could go back to the pool and like, I don't know, whatever, you know. A dip into the pool with the wraith? You've come a long way in a single day. I'm not saying you shouldn't follow him, an offer like that. Just don't forget our little talk. Oh, the fucking ocean. Always raining on our parade. You and your storyteller friend slip into the water. It's just the right temperature. Corticopia, thank you for the resub. You can do it. <clears throat> hey, 
Hey, uh, do you remember my story? You mean the one you just told like a minute ago? Yeah. Um, yes. Do you, I mean, like, uh, what did you think of, um, the young man in the story? Do you think he's weird? He's not weird. Because he's talking about himself. <clears throat> I would forgive him, or do we say he's not weird? All right, let's forgive him. I would forgive him. What happened to him would make anyone snap. And who knows what happened in his past that led him to that point. He was just trying to be good. Yes, that's all he wanted, was to be good. Well, that makes sense. Um, did the young man remind you of anyone? Yes. Yes, he did. It's you. It's clearly you. What? No, it's, um, you're carrying around the guy's skull and spine with you right now. Wraith looks at Azarov's skull and then into the middle of the distance, a long silence ensues. You notice the temperature has dropped significantly. Is it cold in this water now or is that just me? I feel like my toes are turning into ice cubes. Wraith seizes up and squeezes his eyes shut. Please, I can't be around any cube talk. Not since some, I heard that story from somebody else a long time ago. C classic cube talk. The story you just told us two minutes ago? Exactly, that one. It wasn't about me. Usually we'd be nervous that we were about to make things awkward when we barge in, but obviously we couldn't hold a candle to whatever was happening here tonight. Either way, time for bed. For you, not for us. After you go to sleep, that's when we party. After spending all day cooped inside these tight little safari-themed resort uniforms, you just know these two rage late into the night, but you're not here to party with them. You got your own repressed relationships to tend to. You head over to the campfire. The heat is comforting on this chilly night. Looking into the crackling embers, you think about Wraith's story, about the young man who found out he was part of a sinister plot. Hi, 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 hi. don't you know about your current situation? Is it something that will terrify you? Something that will make you snap? What if you look into the eyes of evil? What if you like it? Before you can dwell too much on your fate, Claudette and Dwight arrive. From their very, their now familiar, familiar creepy smile stretching from ear to ear. A bit menacing to see a smile like that lit by firelight. We must apologize for the accommodations. We weren't prepared for another guest, but we were, we were gonna make you but we were going to make you comfortable or die trying. Hand over a pillow and blanket and welcome you to snuggle by the fire. Perhaps some music will put you at ease. Just try to keep the volume to a minimum. Oh, here we go. Mini game, baby. Wait, what are we supposed to do? Oh, nice. Nah, something else. No, something else. No, something else. No, nah, something else. 
No, nah, something else. This is pretty good. No, nah, something else. All right, let's talk about our community. For us, it means uh, two major things. First of all, the community is you out there. It's you and everybody else either playing the game or talking about the game or creating content relating to the game or being inspired by the game to write music or to make outfits. It's everybody that's part of what makes Dead by Daylight this amazingly rich and passionate environment. Is this a DVD podcast? Is this a real DVD podcast? Who interact on every single possible nah, social else. platform in person. It means people who play together... Oh, this one's dope. Not nah, something else. I was just trying to get a an achievement for listening to all of them, but I don't know if it works. All right, we're done. Good job. Ooh, who would you like to summon to your side as you lay by the fire? Wraith, Trapper, Spirit, or Huntress? Her meaty thighs as a pillow, Huntress. I mean, if we're looking for someone to you know, comfort us by the fire, physically. Hold on, I'm gonna just let you think about this for a sec. I hear Lonnie in the other room. Okay, have we decided as a group who's gonna cozy up by the fire with us? Laying by the fire, but standing up by a row. All right, Abby, I'm standing up. Hmm. Oh, I'm seeing a lot more wraith now. around I was wondering if I could get a little company I can't really sleep 
Oh, that happens to me a lot. Um, okay, don't laugh. Promise? I promise. Um, I guess my secret to falling asleep is listening to the sounds of bells or chimes. Think of it as white noise to drown out anything you might be hearing that's keeping you up. Chat. Chat. If that's uh, a bit morbid, I guess you could hold on to this chess piece of mine. It's a knight. They're brave like I wish I were. And the horsey is cute. Okay. The Wraith has Damien energy. From Daddy Dating Zim. You finally start to feel sleepy, except maybe this isn't a sleepy feeling. Maybe you're paralyzed. You try to keep your eyes open, but can't. Darkness overtakes you. The dark voice from earlier speaks to you again. Shouldn't be as spooky by now. You've had a whole day of strange so voices in your head. have spent them, W, you and the Dink fam. Dink love ya. I've been hella busy, so lots of lurking, but I love spending time, W, you guys, when I can. Kawaii Trash, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Really worked up a sweat watching those killers toss the ball around, huh? Would it have hurt so much to go splash around in some cool ocean waves afterwards? I'm just saying. I'm out here, you know? <laughs> All right, ocean. And you hear Lonnie playing with her toy. You awake to see, uh, suddenly to see someone looming over you. Trapper sitting beside you, sketching a portrait. Hey, yo. I saw you with the wraith before bedtime. You should know they're not what they seem. Not like me, who's obviously completely honest and trustworthy. I was checking out, uh, I was checking to make sure you weren't sleeping near one of my... Actually, never mind. Just be careful where you sit. But since I'm here, I'd like to share two things with you. One, I do not take rejection well. Two, the first thing is very important to remember. Were you drawing me? Trapper doesn't answer. You weren't drawing stink lines uh, radiating out from me, are you? Still nothing. Look, I'm not an easy guy to get along with, but I'm an easy guy to spend time with. That will make sense if you choose to spend time with me tomorrow. We won't, don't worry. The rest of this scum live like rats. They wouldn't know a good time if it bit them on the ass. I mean that literally. Point is, if you select me, you're in for a day of luxury, extravagance, and fun. Yes, I said fun. And if I don't pick you, remember what I said earlier, or it might be the last thing you ever forget. But hey, you look tired. Get some sleep, rest. Just maybe don't roll 15 feet to your left. Wait a second. Where are we? This isn't. Oh geez, it is. It's one of those reality show confessional rooms where we all, where all the contestants talk directly to the camera. I think today went really well. There were some of my first interactions with someone who isn't a parent that didn't end in bloodshed or untimely perishing in my Russian cottage. So I'm counting today as a win no matter what happens. What do I think of the newcomer? Hmm. Do I have to say? Oh, I do. Um, attractive, mysterious. I really don't know many other words since I was raised by my mom in the woods until she was skewered by an elk and I had to wash her entrails off uh, my seraphim. That being said, the other three should make sure to be on their guard. I don't know who this newcomer will want to spend time with tomorrow, but I, for one, will not let my guard down easy. Who knows about the others? Wraith, I think, knows more than he's letting on about this place, but he's a hard nut to crack. Meanwhile, Spirit is just screaming all the time. Major buzzkill. Trapper, oh, where do I begin with Trapper? He's buff, sure, but daddy issues much? Sheesh. Look, I don't need anyone. I've been perfectly fine on my own since my mother died. I eat a fine diet of raw deer, <laughs> bear, and human, and I'm fit as a fiddle. That being said, Something about this newcomer makes me think that I might be missing out on a huge part of something called life. This is weird. I don't care enough to kill this person, but if anyone else wants to, I don't care enough to stop them. I might just kill Dwight to feel anything again. <laughs> yeah, today was fun. I don't want to get ahead of myself, really, or um, invest in something that might hurt me, so I don't know. 
Maybe we'll just see how it goes. Or maybe they'll realize I'm not the one for them. They seem pretty smart, so that's probably what'll happen. I gotta learn to go easier on myself. Who could love me if I can't love myself? I know that everyone thinks of me as a beautiful, cold-blooded monster. I can't help it. Circulation just isn't my thing. I don't choose to be cold. This cute hat and robe, okay. These are a choice, sure. If someone were to come around and capture my heart, at least that beats being stabbed in it. Besides, if I'm gonna get bloody revenge on a society that has used me and throw me away, maybe it wouldn't hurt to have a little help. Oh my God, still alive is the achievement? <laughs> we could be dead by now? <laughs> Fuck. You open your eyes, the sun is shining. There's not a cloud in the sky. Totally well rested. You're not even suspicious of the fact that you fell asleep by a campfire, but woke up several yards down the beach. Was yesterday a dream? Nope, not a dream. You're really here for another day. Why? I have no idea. You're obviously a weirdo. Speaking of weirdos, I see the rest of the gang is hanging out on the beach. This is definitely not a dream. I wouldn't rule out a nightmare just yet, though. Or at least they make for a sexy bunch. <laughs> and talk about sexy, here comes the trickster carrying coffee. Morning, beautiful. I thought you might like a nice cup of joe to start your incredible day of day off, right? Trickster seems suspiciously cheerful. I'm sure there's nothing nefarious behind his joyful demeanor, though. Everyone knows musicians are morning people. I also want to wish you luck. Today is an important one. My only regret is that I won't be a bigger part of it. Budgeting issues. So I'm just swamped with engagements. Especially on the other island. Trickster winks at you. If you want to ask him how to reach the other island, now's the time. Never mind, he left. He's gone, chat. He left. He gone. What the hell was that? They don't call him Trickster because he's good on a skateboard. And he definitely didn't get that name because he brings people drinks so they can have good morning. That was almost certainly not coffee. 56 month speech. I love you, Julie. Jetbacks Extreme Sport! Oh my gosh. Welcome back. Thank you for the resub. Narrator and the ocean are fighting. Even this place is an eternal prison of pain, and I'm not saying it is. Even if this place is an eternal prison of pain, uh, even a place of extreme horror can still receive a 5 out of 5 or a 10 out of 10 thumbs up review. True. Are you two trying to sell me on this place actually being good? You don't have to like that. Say it like that. Especially after I saved you from that poorly made cup of coffee. Sorry, we should have been here five minutes ago. They always do this on the second morning. Sad, really? Even if they do make some great points. Can we please move on? Yes, of course. Apologies. The last few minutes aside, have you been enjoying your time here on this island? Yes, I've been having a lovely time. Yes, I'm sus... I'm not suspicious, there's no no option. <laughs> yes, it's been really entertaining. <laughs> I'm not suspicious, I like that one. I'm not suspicious at all that there's no no option. What an encouraging response. We're so glad you're not suspicious. Would you please sign this non-disparaging this disparagement agreement? Sure. I will not say anything negative about this island. Delightful.
Perfect timing. Everyone rolls into the dining area to lard up those sexy little bellies with pancakes. Huh? So much for maintaining these beach bods. We're all half naked in a tropical paradise. Can we get some strawberries here or yogurt? Magic powers will only get you so far. Even killers watch their sodium intake. Take your plate and sit down. Thinking about yesterday was a whirlwind of feelings you experienced. I'm gonna sit down. One collective cringe from Chad Beach Bod, as we should. Personally, I wasn't. I can't imagine you could make me any angrier today than you did yesterday. Should we get him into like a program or something for his anger? I really, really hope you do. Unrelated, anyone see where I left my cleaver? Just kidding, I always know where it is. Now Huntress steps up to talk about her feelings. At this point, anything could happen. I'm open to all the possibilities that this strange island has in store. Did everyone sleep well? I did. Or should I say, did not. I haven't slept in 20 years on account of the whole burning quest for familial revenge thing. And last night was no different. So in that case, it was exactly how it should be. Got a lot of reading done though. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go back to quietly resenting being trapped in here with all of you while looking cute doing so. Tipsy Tay, thank you for the resub. Guessing Wraith has had enough time to work up the courage to speak in front of a group. Oh, hey, that was fun yesterday, huh? Yeah, I mean, not like too much fun. That would be weird. But yeah, like a good time, a good amount of fun. I think I need to process everything by myself. I'll see you all soon. After breakfast, you head to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was, in short, a lot. Before you get there though, something catches your attention. You hear that? No, no, stick it in there, a little more, a little more. Oh yeah, that's it, yes. How does that feel? Intense, nice. Yeah, that feels right. Now I want you to take that and put it right. Yeah, you know what I'm... I wish I could undo that. <sighs> Damn it! A little privacy, please. Dwight is painting and Claudette has a crazed look in her eye. Sorry, I didn't know how else to let you know I was here and that I could hear you. Well, you know. Now what? What do you think we were doing? You were doing, I don't know what you were doing, but it sounded like fun. You think two people trying to find new ways to kill each other in a desperate search to make their own death permanent is fun? We get five minutes to ourselves every day and we spend it hoping if we stab each other in just the right spot, we won't get resurrected. Yo, what the fuck, dude? Uh, did I say painting? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Did you actually think we were uh, me and him, Dwight? Mm. You don't have to laugh that hard, I get it. Laughs. My life is a nightmare and yet somehow it's never been worse than right now. Me too, Dwight, me too. <laughs> Let's go lover boy. I noted all our entry wounds in our first five minutes is up anyway. Good luck, Bussy Ray, you're gonna need it. And hey, if you figure out how to escape this island, please make sure your ghost tells us how.
Come on, Ocean. Leave us alone. Nobody clip anything, okay? I'm turning off clips. It's Trickster! Hey, babe! Breakfast is weird, huh? Everyone just getting up and announcing how they're feeling? What's that about? Some forced kind of check-in with the group? I don't like it. Fishy. Lazy. Whatever, though. Breakfast is dumb. No one should eat before noon or after 4 p.m. Yeah, I do intermittent fasting. You see my abs, by the way? Maybe you can see them later at my private stage on the other island. You know, IP Island, where all the Hollywood celebs hang out? If you play your cards right. <laughs> Could give you a private show. Catch you around. <laughs> okay, yeah, more of this. Uh-huh. Huntress! Alright, we should get out of here. I know a place that's quiet and out of the way. No one will be able to hunt us. I mean, hear us. You decide to bring as much as you can. You may have to make a run for it at some point. You should be prepared. But of course, you washed up on this island with nothing but the clothes on your back. So you've got nothing to gather. Are you ready for this? They call her the Huntress, not the Hugtress. You look up at this towering goddess trying to form a sentence when suddenly, before you can decide if you want to go with, off with her, the Wraith interjects. I don't usually do this, um, but uh, I had a dream about you last night, and um, yeah, I mean, like not like a weird dream. I don't know. I, I just wanted to tell you about it. You maybe want to uh, hang out with me today? Uh, uh, why am I so bad at this? No worries if not. Huntress seems pretty great, too. Tough choice. You weigh your options quickly because you can only go on one date today and you don't want to be hacked to pieces for saying the wrong thing. It's always good to remember that these are cold-blooded killers, but you know what they say. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade and then die a horrible, retching, writhing death after drinking it because the lemons were poisoned. Should we take a poll? Wraith or Huntress? Thank you, mods. The poll is up in chat. Is this going on YouTube? If this doesn't go on YouTube, why do we have a YouTube channel? Is it close? Holy shit. Oh my God, it's close. Huntress is winning by 52 to 48%. Y'all get your votes in. 49 to 
Damn, this is close. The winner was Huntress. I think we gotta go Huntress. I gotta go with Huntress. I feel so bad. Wraith just put himself out there and we're just like, nope. We. Forest friend, oh my God. We're going to the forest with Huntress where she brings her victims. You and Huntress make your way to the secluded beach house, your heart thrums in your chest. Don't look up. Thrums is a real word, I swear. <laughs> These nerves of excitement or terror. Isn't it fun to mix up the sexy and horrifying? You struggle to keep up with her. She moves like a jungle cat, all muscle and silent leaps across the thorny brush. What's wrong, baby? Cabin in the woods. Will you let me inside? Why do you need an invitation? Are you a vampire? Haha, <laughs> no. Oh. Is it just me or did Huntress seem a little disappointed? Lonnie, what's up, baby? Can you go outside? Bun bun. Let's explore. You follow her inside. It's creepy, rickety, and definitely not up to code, but it has a certain homey charm. You're quite the decorator, she blushes and lifts up her entire dress. What do you think of my collection? It's so much, or I could learn to like this, or I'm more of a minimalist. Maybe I could learn to like this. We don't want to piss any of the killers off. They'll just actually crush us. I could learn to like this. This whole place, it's quite tactile. There's so much to look at. The organized chaos makes me want to craft things with my hands. I knew you'd like it here. You have the eye of someone who'd appreciate fine stolen things. I can't wait to go treasure hunting with you. We could find so many more goodies on the island. But first, what do you think of the other killers on the island? I mean, Trickster's pretty out there, but everyone else seems like they have an interesting backstory and whatnot. Ooh, Huntress is trying to gossip. Why, are you jealous? Before you can answer, the house begins to shake. Huntress loses her balance on the termite-infested floor and falls into your arms. You're not mad about it. But before you have time to enjoy taking this moment in... Oh no, it's an attack! A horde of killer crabs invade through the crevices in a poorly constructed cabin. They race at you and Huntress in swarms, clacking their razor-sharp claws at you. You must act quickly. What will you do? Shield Huntress, run and hide, or grab a Shashka. I think we save mommy. What's a shashka? You step in front of Huntress, prepare to use your body as a shield from the onslaught of crabbage. I'll save you, Huntress. Oh, Huntress can't take care of herself. It's a sort of, oh, Huntress can't take care of herself? Oh, un oh, sorry. Huntress can take care of herself. It's her sort of, ho sort of her whole thing. Haven't you been paying attention? Hey, save some fun for me. Huntress is immediately between you and the crabs, hip checking you out of the way before splitting 
open a crab shell after crab shell like your uncle in an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet. That's disgusting. Hunter sits down on the wicker couch and begins cleaning the guts off of her hatchet. It's an obligatory scene for every killer. You're just happy not to be the source of what she's wiping off. Looks like we're having crab for dinner. She doesn't smile at your joke. She has, pon she has that ponderous look on her face again. You join her on the couch. Man, sometimes those near-death experiences really get me thinking about what I want in life. I think I'd really like to start a family one day. What about you? <laughs> no way. <laughs> what if we just pour ice water on the situation? No way. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Maybe one day with the right person. I mean, it's a life-changing decision. You have to make sure it's right. Huntress smiles, smiles coyly. Good answer. You know, you never know what kind of weirdos are out there. What were you like as a kid? Oh my God. Huntress chuckles, her laugh cute and soft. I was so innocent. We hunted to survive. Bro, the fucking music is too loud. I was so innocent. We hunted to survive, then went back to the cottage and mother would tell me stories and we'd drink tea and imagine a life far away from the woods. Somewhere like this. I suppose I finally achieved what she wanted from me. But since coming here, something feels off. It's beautiful and warm and everyone is so attractive. Like thirst traps galore. But don't you get the feeling that something is coming for us? Oh no, she's on to you. But on to you about what? Swirling memories rush through your head. Nightmares, visions of a dark cloud, Claudette and Dwight in their vacant stares that, uh, what is that word? Belly? Some sort of hypnosis. Quick, validate her theory and, or try to push it off. Um, do we agree or not? Be lie? Be lie. Oh, thank you. Okay. Let's validate. I think you're onto something. What do you know? How long have you been here? Do you remember anything about how we might or why we might be here? I've been having these dreams, seeing things. I think we're all serving some greater purpose here. Huntress reveals a strange object that she stole from a near, near the stage where Trickster performs. It has some strange symbol on it. Truthfully, it doesn't seem that strange to you. It's just a glass bottle. However, the label is interesting. Claudette and Dwight burst on, in on you and interrupt. We have a dramatic announcement, but it needs to happen back at the beach. Okay, they just like completely showed up and, okay. You arrive at the beach and realize you were set up. There's no big announcement after all. Good old fashioned rivalry. It's true, exactly like that voice we cannot hear and certainly aren't referencing says. We were forced to interrupt your lovely date by another killer. They're here and ready to make an offer of love that you won't be able to deny. Trapper emerges from the water. Is he in slow motion? He's pure thirst. He's Paul Newman on horseback. He's Denzel on the cover of GQ. Manly manliness brought to life. Also, was he holding his breath under there the whole time waiting for his cue? That's commitment to the bit if I've ever seen one. Heard you've spent the day in a quaint cottage. That's cute. How about a quaint mansion? Or better yet, how about one on each continent? Yeah, I'm including Ant Antarctica. I'm really, really rich. Think of how cozy you can get in a snowy 10 bedroom, 10 bedroom chateau. One of those pools that is half indoor, half outdoor, but nice and warm throughout. That way you can kill a mama polar bear from the outside while watching her cubs cry over her body from the inside. Plus, you really want to hunt your food for the rest of your life? With me, you get it both ways. Savagery and someone to clean up after you. I think we can veto that. That life isn't for me. Bro!
Patrick Bateman with a huge chip on his shoulder. You wouldn't go with him if he were brandishing a cleaver at you. Oh shit, he is. Thanks, but no thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm into a quieter lifestyle. I relish my independence and don't need someone to wipe my butt for me. You run back to the huge arms of Huntress. She hugs you so tight. So tight you think you feel the life leave your body for just a moment, but it just hurts so good. You know what? I'm impressed that you stood up to me. I appreciate someone giving me their honest opinion. Even if that opinion makes me want to carve out your liver. And the butt wiping comment? That's not what I meant by clean up after you. But I'm hiring someone to do that for me at the moment I get home. <laughs> Trapper leaves and you turn to Huntress walking in slow motion back to the water. It's pretty weird. He's just going to stay there all night. Shall we continue our date? Huntress leads you back to her cabin. You thought you'd remember the way, but it's like the forest has completely changed. Nothing is familiar. Can you believe that guy? <laughs> Classic trapper. Pulling a move like that. I'm so glad you chose me, though. I don't think we've explored all there is between us yet. She winks, a bunny-masked eye, and scoops you up onto her back. Huntress runs through the woods with you, piggyback riding her. The wind ruffles your hair. Animals clear a path for the mighty woods woman as she races by like the lead from that famous teen vampire drama that in that one scene where he calls her a spider monkey. <laughs> Huntress doesn't call you that. <laughs> Yo. Eventually she lowers you down to the ground and you take in your surroundings, a wooded clearing in the forest. Huntress prances about like a deer in the meadow. I like to come here sometimes to clear my head and hack up a few cute woodland creatures. Foxes are my favorite to slaughter. They think they're so cute and sly, but I see right through them. They're just assholes. Great with hot sauce. Huntress hears rustling and darts off to find its source, crouching down low like an animal. Now you're alone in the middle of the forest. Which way did you come from again? No idea. Your sense of direction is all off. Voices float through the air, landing upon your ears like a syrupy honey. Come find me, says Huntress. I guess we're ready. What? We did it! Perfect! Oh my god. Oh my god, we're insane! That was so fast. Tag. You bop Huntress on the shoulder when you find her. She high fives you. You trying to date this young lady or just bro down all day? You're so good at hiding. I'm having a real blast. Thanks. They say it takes 10,000 hours of practice to get good at something. Hey, they do say that. That was fun, huh? I keep trying to just relax and have a good time, but that's really hard for me. Anytime I let my guard down, something terrible happens. Yo, the second option? Oh my god. No. Don't ask me the color of anything. <laughs> Second, no balls. I'm not clicking the second one. All right, I'll click the second one. What if we let our pants down? Come on, I was trying to have a serious moment. Is it all jokes with you? Uh-oh, she hated it. <laughs> she hated it, chat. Sorry, mommy? Sorry, mommy? Sorry, it was adrenaline. Mommy? From the game. Got me in a mood. Read the room wrong. Qua Claudette and Dwight are back. Okay, we swear we're here for a good reason this time. Yeah, no one's manipulating us. Just time for dinner. Come get some grub. What a fun day you've been having. I can see it written all over your face. You're shining. And that's not just the remaining anxious sweat from spending an afternoon courting a psycho killer. You're really feeling this whole romantic experience. Don't worry. I'll keep your dirty little, dirty little secrets. Well, 
Well, we're not going to do we're not going to do the gag where they where we cram all them on screen at the same time just so you can um so just believe me they're all here. Got it. If I'm dining solo, I'm eating what I want. And you're all eating it too. Lamb shank, rare, salt, pepper, no sauces allowed. And serve it with one single piece of broccoli so Wraith won't complain. I like broccoli. Okay, Chris. Gives me horrible gas. Oh, I don't like that. Dinner will be served shortly, but certain uh, power brokers would like you to know about, would like to know about your day. Would you like to share with the rest of the group? Today was nuts. We went on Huntress's, went to Huntress's secret cabin and killer crabs attacked us. It's true. I'll fall asleep tonight to the delicious sound of crunching crustaceans. That would never have happened on my yacht. Okay, we get it. Bony appetite. Don't you mean bone? No, almost everything we serve has a lot of bones in it. Even the vegetables. Impossible to avoid on this island. What would you like to say to the servants? I say we thank them. Your top-notch service is much appreciated. In fact, here. Oh, we're going to the fire now. Did you have a choice on how you said that, Dweeb? Oh my god. Trapper is just like lashing out at everyone. I'm scared of him. Poor Wraith and his sensitive eyes. I hope the fire isn't too smoky. Smoke hurts my eyes. I have pretty sensitive eyes. I'm also horribly afraid of it. The fire, I mean, not my eyes. Because of my childhood trauma involving fire. Everyone's looking at you, so do something. Should I pick someone and tell a story? Should we play charades, boggle? Why don't you tell us a story? Wraith points his spine and skull staff thingamajig at you. Try not to bore us. We're just very interested in you. Don't speak for me, Huntress. Whoa, spirit. Oh, spirit's cooling on us. I know that the fire is right here, but maybe if we stop talking about it all the time, we can start to pretend that it's not here and, you know, doesn't threaten to burn us all alive. Yeah, we'll tell a story. I hope it's a mystery. Romance, adventure, or action? I think romance, right? Stick with the script. I'll tell a romantic story about two lovers who take poison together and die foaming at the mouth, like chat. Or about two strong hunters who meet when they both try to bludgeon the same Willy Wolverine. Not quite. It's about my parents. They met at a party in college. He was hosting. She'd been dragged there by some friends. They couldn't have been more different. And yet, as the night wore on, they were drawn to each other. She made fun of his taste in music and he took an interest in her major. Women's studies. They were married within two months. Bit soon to know if you can trust someone, don't you think? Trapper, no one asked. It's so sweet. 
says Wraith. Exactly. I learned a lot about love from them. If you know, you know. Some people don't need years to get acquainted with their partner. Love could spark from a mere look across the campfire. Now you've got their attention. Each killer is furiously attempting to catch your eye from across the fire pit. Except for Trickster, who's wandered to the bar and is loudly playing his own music. <laughs> Who else would you like to hear a story from tonight? You look from killer to killer trying to decide who might be the most entertaining. Okay, Wraith. I want to hear Wraith. Oh, he did already tell one. He did already tell one. You want to, why don't we go, um, Spirit? We can go Spirit. See if Spirit has something cool. I suppose I could tell a story. I don't really want to, but anything I say is sure to be better than whatever you get out of anyone else in this group. Okay. There's mosquitoes in here now, so I'm going to shut the door up one sec. Like all good stories, I stole this one from someone in the past who's dead now and can't do anything about it. It's called The Bride, or technically I suppose it's The Fiance. One winter, a young couple decided that the next spring they, they would be married. The two were madly in love and could not wait for the snow to melt so they could join in matrimony and unite their souls for eternity. Per the latest bridal trends, they decided to have their wedding ceremony at the edge of the woods by a beautiful shabby chic farmhouse. Together, they spent months planning the details of the wedding. The two created invitations, figured out seating arrangements, and tasted 100 cakes before settling on the perfect one. They, cho they chose uh, Lily Koi, by the way. So fancy. When it came time to figure out the decorations, however, the bride, or the fiancé, I guess, since she wasn't actually married yet, wanted to take the lead and set the style. After all, her boyfriend had been wearing cargo shorts and open toe sandals for pretty much their entire relationship, so he was definitely not to be trusted. Having decided on such a lovely natural setting for the ceremony, the fiancé decided that she would create a unique floral arrangement for, from the local wildflowers that surrounded the farmhouse. As soon as the sun rose on the first day of spring, she set off to the woods. Each day, she spent hours mapping out where the best blooms could be found and prepared to pick them herself the morning of the wedding so that they'd be at the height of their freshness and beauty. <laughs> Enamored with the incredible variety of flowers in the woods, she surveyed the bride, or the fiance, since they had not been yet married, became obsessed with just knowing how many there were so that she could choose the absolute best. When the fateful morning of her big day finally came, the fiance told her husband to be that she had one final errand to run before the wedding. Excited for the ceremony to come, she dressed in her beautiful white gown and set off into the woods to gather flowers. <clears throat> Treading carefully, she followed her routes, selecting only the best stems and collecting them in a basket. However, when she came upon a once familiar clearing, something was not as she expected. Somehow, it was more beautiful now than it had ever been before. And just on the edge of her view was a new bush filled with blossoms, so vibrant and colorful she became dizzy just looking at them. But the fiancé ignored her sudden spell and pressed ahead, scooping up flower after flower. And every time she did, she noticed <clears throat> just further ahead, impossibly, even more beautiful blossoms. Carried by the sweet fragrance of the spring air, the bride, the fiancé, crept further and further into the woods until she turned a corner, <clears throat> stepped over a mossy fallen tree trunk and realized she had been here before. <clears throat> wow. 
But this wasn't the clearing she remembered, or at least not how she remembered it. The flowers were suddenly overripe, decaying, falling from their stems into festering, moldy piles on the floor where bees had been. Now only flies buzzed. Where the scene of flowers had once intoxicated her, the odor of mildew made her sick. She turned and looked back, but the path was dark. Into the shadowy glen, she walked and walked and walked. That day, as guests gathered at the farmhouse, the fiance was nowhere to be seen. Her friends, family, and love began to look for her, but to no avail. They searched the pasture, the tree line, and into the forest, but there were no beautiful wildflowers or young lovers to be seen. Just old, dead trees, trampled vines, and moss-covered rocks. The fiancé stayed a fiancé for eternity, always wandering, looking for fresher blooms to clip, but never finding them. Distracted by a never-ending search for perfection, unable to see that you're loved for who you are. Out there all alone. I thought it was beautiful and sad. Just like someone we know. How is story time? A lot of people like to take pot shots at sequels, but I think every story deserves a good follow-up. When you think it's the end, the sequel is almost never as rewarding as the original. That's why I'm much more a fan of the... Okay, yeah. That was a good story. I like that one. <clears throat> Tell me, if you could delete any sequel from existence, what would it be? Don't answer that. God forbid... And my small talk get in the way of romantic twilight moment. Dwight is physically incapable of winking, not since the accident. <laughs> Did I hear somebody talk uh, trash talking spirit? Deal me in. What do you say we take this talk to the hot tub so I can soak this soak this bod while I roast that ghost with some killer hot takes? Who wants to hear uh, Trapper's hot takes? Why did they make him so awful? Please, enough talk of burns or things that are lit or getting blazed. It's enough that these activities have to be set next to a literal fire. Must I be surrounded by a figurative flames as well? What if we turned away and ran away from this place? <clears throat> as far away from this place as we could, just you and me. On those sp spindly, spindly legs, spindly legs, you probably tired before you got too far. If it's running away to some place more secluded, uh, Bussy Ray's after, they probably, they should obviously join me. Have you seen these legs? Pure power. Not that my walk speed really reflects my giant st stature, but that's because I choose to move slowly for stealthy reasons. It's my own choice, and it's completely logical. <clears throat> Why is everyone so obsessed with comparing themselves to each other and creating drama? I'm so over all that. Don't you get it? Society wants to trick you into fighting with each other so that corporations can swoop in and sell you fake solutions to all your fabricated problems. I'll be sitting in the shade drinking something locally sourced while thumbing through a public domain novella printed on recycled paper because I refuse to play their game anymore. It's like she's actively trying to be as unappealing as possible. Does it really turn anyone else on or just me? If you could, I don't know, just pick one of us. Maybe we can move on with our lives or, um, you know, maybe some special projects we might have going. <laughs> Who are we going off with it for an evening activity? You may not get a ton of chances to date around like this before your time on Murderer's Island comes to a close. Okay, so we're getting there. Excluding Trickster because that guy. Oh boy. I want to pick Spirit because that story was really good, but like Wraith is like, I feel like Wraith has my heart. You know? <clears throat> Wraith. I knew you'd never pick me. Who am I kidding? But I did pick you. <laughs> Wraith immediately turns and runs away. It's not like he didn't tell you what you were getting into. Well, follow him. <laughs>
<laughs> he ran away. You catch up to Wraith, and as usual, he appears a little anxious. We could give him a massage. That might be a little too intimate for him. I don't want to, like, scare him off. Tell him to calm down. No, that's not helpful. Ask what's wrong. Hey, you seem a little off. What's wrong? You can tell, huh? You, uh, you must be getting to know me pretty well. There's a big sigh again. Sorry, sometimes I get too in my head. Well, maybe there's some way we can get you out of there. These are two very different options. We're on the beach. We could throw around a frisbee. Well, it's dark and I don't really like sports. <laughs> Damn it! The last time we went with the the sexy option, we got punished for it. And this time we didn't go with the sexy option. We got punished for it. Who knows? Maybe it'll work. Grabs the frisbee, looks at it like it's a moon rock or something. Then tosses the ab an absolute bullet right at you. <laughs> I thought you weren't good at this. Oh, well, it's really just the Bernoulli, Bernoulli principle. The gyroscopic inertia of a spinning disc. He talks to you about five minutes before running out of steam and realizing you haven't walked off like any nor normal sane person would have. Want to throw the frisbee back? I guess so. You chuck it the wrong way, except it lands 20 feet from him near the ocean. He smiles. Did you let me beat you? Did we let him beat us at frisbee? No, never. No, never. You can always trust me. He looks at you like he might cry. He smiles and nods that like that gif of Robert Redford that isn't Zach Galifianakis. Okay, all right, all right. Wow, this day went by so fast, but I guess it's over. I don't understand. Why is it? You strange, beautiful weirdo. The gang's all together again on the volleyball court. Seems like only yesterday we were sitting on the sidelines watching everyone get sweaty. It's because it was. Pitch your dream date and see who... Oh, this is the new game. Pitch your dream date and see who Bussy Ray chooses. Who's ready for round robin? How round are we talking? No, not to eat, Huntress. Each killer gets two minutes to tell you about their dream date. In no particular order, which is a weird thing to mention. Almost like it does matter. Trapper, why don't you go first? I think you deserve it, even if... this, this In this case, it's a subtle dig. Okay, Trapper... Wouldn't you all like to make us uncomfortable by pushing the boundaries of what's acceptable, not only in polite society, polite in, only in polite society, but within the narrative of this in-world event and also the larger meta narrative of Dead by Daylight dating experience? The writing is a little meta sometimes. Can we just skip this? Okay, it's okay. Hit a spirit. Tomorrow you'll spit in the face of God, die, and be reborn anew. That's it? That sounds like a cool date, actually. Hey, why are you crying, baby? Lonnie. Lonnie. Please don't cry. Why don't you lay down? If you're not intrigued by that, I don't want you. Go draw crayon art with the trapper or dig up whatever mysteries with Wraith. I don't know what those guys do all day. Do you want to at least specify which god you'll be spitting in the face of? All of them. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. I'd really just prefer to tell Bussy Ray privately. I don't really know how that's going to work with these in-game mechanics. What if you just whispered it to Bussy Ray? That's fine. Tomorrow we have to find my bell. And then I can finally tell you about what I've been working on. It's gonna be really special. The kind of thing that, where where we really will bond. And maybe finally get off this island. And maybe then we can go on a real date. Huh? 
Huntress, why don't you take it from here? Tomorrow morning, I'm planning on a nice atmospheric breakfast on the yacht. Don't worry, Trapper won't even know it's gone. What was that? Nothing, go away. Then, oh boy, I've got such an adventure planned. It involves hunting for treasure. What kind of treasure are we looking for? Guess you'll have to pick me to find out. Let me tell you, it's primo stuff. Now, if you don't mind, I gotta start prepping. Because it's clear already that you're gonna pick me. Welcome to Murderer's Island. Oh my gosh. Now, it's time to eliminate one of the killers. You can't kill a killer, but you can break their heart. Do you even dare to try? You mean, that's right. Tomorrow, one of these sexy slicers will not be eligible to take you on a date. Who's it gonna be? Okay. See ya! Sleepy time. Huh? Who? Body pillow? What a crazy way to end the day. An elimination. I didn't even know it was that kind of game. Let's check in with everyone, especially our loser. We'll see how things go tomorrow, I suppose. I'm not expecting anything. I tend to shut my mind off during hard times. I know I seem all excited in Devil May Care, but... Uh, the truth is, I'm really a pessimist at heart. It tends to happen when your mother's skewered by an elk when you were young. Yeah, how'd you know? Oh, well, it's the only thing you talk about. If you'll excuse me, I think I saw a raccoon over in that tree and I'm feeling peckish. Feeling peckish? I don't really know what's happening here. I honestly haven't been paying attention. Feel you, Wraith. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I'm focusing on other things. More important things. One way or another, I won't be here for much longer. What does that mean? Trapper? I don't handle rejection well. At least I don't think I do. No one has ever been dumb enough to reject me before. What is Wraith talking about? I didn't think there was a chance I might get eliminated. Did I think there was a chance I like it, might get eliminated? Yeah, I did. Did I care if I got eliminated? Not even a little. Does the volume of words I spend talking about how much I don't care about these things signify a deeper yearning within me to be seen, heard, and validated by those around me? Nah. It's cool, man. I'm not part of anything. You feel me? I'm not a cog in anyone's machine. I'm my own machine. Dropping the new album. Tricks are dropping the new album, y'all. <laughs> he almost said ghost face. Okay, we just, we don't have anything to confess. We've just been working our asses off the past two days straight and we wanted to sit down somewhere. This chair is wet. <laughs> I think the ocean just peed on it. Huh? I've got something to confess. Oh great, what's it gonna be? Watching Trapper get eliminated was the first time in this unending spiral staircase of pain that is my life that I felt even a modicum of joy. 
Every minute that I'm alive is a nightmare. This place, the sun, these sweet sugary drinks. It sounds fun for a long weekend, but for an eternity. Unrelenting rhythm of crashing waves and wailing seagulls is like a crescent crescendoing song of evil that makes me question the very foundation of the universe. Why am I here? Why are any of us here? What kind of sentient being would do this? Please erase me. <laughs> okay, we get it. Let's get you to bed. We go again. It's time. Claudette gestures over to the beach where the killers all stand flanked by tiki, tiki torches. It's a scene very reminiscent of a TV show you used to hate watch with your ex. Hate watch? Are you talking about Survivor? No, who hate watches Survivor? Don't think we haven't noticed how kind you've been to us, Pussy Ray. It can't be easy being thrown into a mysterious island for seemingly no reason, surrounded by terrifying killers. Um, mm-hmm, great. Don't try to go all the way with a killer who isn't into you. Relationships are a two-way street. Yeah, we know. I don't think Huntress likes us. I think, um, I think Wraith and maybe Spirit likes us, but I'm pretty sure Wraith likes us. I like what Spirit said about spitting in God God's face, though. Oh, we gotta give a rose. Oh, the torches. Were they talking about Bachelor, maybe? You've done good, Dwight. This is a lovely bouquet. I hope Dwight saved some of the for those for Claudette. They're a thing, right? You're getting that vibe too? Just me? Sorry. Who do you select to receive these flowers and spend a day with you today? Let's spit on the gods. <laughs> I kind of want to go with spirit. I want to see what our date with spirit is like. Spirit, since I met you, I've been enchanted by your presence. You've challenged me to be a better person and resisted the urge to show me uh, the sharp end of your katana. For that, I thank you. I'm ready to take our relationship to the next level. Really? Well, yes, that's why I just said all that. You sure have a funny way of showing it. You basically ignored me for two days. I don't see it like that, but, but what? But all that matters is that you, is what you want and I'm simply supposed to go along for the ride. But you're the only one who has agency is that in this. You make the decisions, you're the boss. Get bent, I'm not going anywhere with you now or ever. If you want me, you're gonna have to show it. <laughs> we just got rejected. Uh, who else do you select? <laughs> Okay, we'll go Wraith. This isn't a date, this is the final choice? I thought it was who you get to hang out with today. Wraith, since I got on this island, I've been drawn to your quiet nature, your unassuming good looks, the nervous energy you bring to every situation, no matter how normal and mundane. I love the way your brain works, I love the way your body moves, and I love how we are together. His mouth hangs open a little. His eyebrows twitch. Got anything else to say, Wraith? Sounds about right. As you board the yacht, Wraith is unsurprisingly quiet, but the awkward vibes are down by about 60%. Good job, I guess. 
it was nice of Trapper to volunteer his yacht for the start of this day, long date, but it's, but a bit dismissive of him to say that you two were so boring that the yacht itself would even notice you were there. So I wasn't really expecting this. I'm not really sure why you picked me. I know it might seem weird, but I needed to spend some time with the other killers on the island. Now I'm 100% sure you're the one for me. To prove your point, you decide to read Wraith a, a passage about love. Love is an equation, Sonnet 116 or Edgar Allan Poe. What is Sonnet 116? He's, he's like a, he's a romantic. He's a romantic. If we had spirit, I would say Edgar Allan Poe. Sauna is Shakespeare. I think we go Shakespeare then. Or what is love as an equation? Oh, cause is that a math thing? I think he would appreciate a sonnet. You know, it's like a romantic gesture. He's sensitive. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove. What is this, a wedding? Thank you, I guess it's true love that will never be truly perfect. It must, it must withstand the horrors of life of which there are many. You really understand me, even if we haven't spent every day here together. See, Sonnet! It was the right call. Well, we don't have much time, so I'll try to catch you up. I guess you've noticed that I'm kind of quiet and thoughtful. I love chess and maths. I despair at man's ca capacity for hatred and the power of violence, and yet I'm drawn to it. I'm a large, I'm large. I contain multitudes, I guess. I hate money and its power over humanity. Even seeing a gold coin in this island sends me into a rage. Sometimes I don't really know what to say or do, but something about you puts me at ease and makes all of this noise in my soul fade away. With you, I can feel myself changing. And that's good. I had to change in order to spend this day with you the way I want. And that's good. I had to change in order to, oh, sorry. Uh, because I look, I look. See, there it is. You always know how to comfort me. I haven't had that in a long time. Anyone I've been close to has abandoned me, usually against their will, but it still hurts. So why bother trying to connect with anyone? They're just gonna be brutally murdered while I watch or overhear or sleep through it. You put your hand on his shoulder. All I want is someone to love. A family to care for, not touched by evil or greed or power, a small house in the middle of nowhere, never bothered by anyone. You're the first person in forever I felt like I could see a future with. Wraith holds up Azarov's skull. My story about the man who pulled his boss's skull and spine, that was me. You almost tell him you know, everyone knows, but decide against it. Too long I've been attached to Azarov's skull. I've let it define me, no more. Wraith tosses the skull into the water. As he watches it sink, you notice a gold coin on the ground that dislodged from it. You know how Wraith is with gold coins, what do you do? I think you pick it up, right? To get it out of the way, like to cover it, or we leave it. Maybe we leave it? Because maybe he, if we pick it up, he'll be like, why are you picking up a gold coin? All right, sure, I mean, he's not even looking. Waste an opportunity to pick up a perfectly valuable object that might come in handy very soon. He turns to you smiling. He seems like a new man. Let's go back to that dump. What a romantic sentence to start the day with. As you walk into the cosmic dump, Wraith oozes nervous excitement. <laughs> oh gosh, do I have something incredible planned for tonight? He pulls out some lotions and oils. You ready? What's wrong? 
No, it's just you're holding Azeroth's skull again. You just made a whole big thing about how you feel like you've changed and you're not defined by it. And you threw it away. Yeah, I did. Azeroth was terrible. I'm no longer using his skull as my security blanket. This is his brother, Paul. Also a really bad guy I took care of. I have 20 of these things. All really bad guys. I guess you can't change some people. Anyway, back to our exciting night to end all nights. First up, my bell. It's the bell my father gave me to warn me of danger. We'll need it for what I have planned. Where is it? I'll go get it. Well, that's the thing. I'm not sure I misplaced it. Are you sure we need it or could... It could just be fun if it's just you and me and nothing else. Trust me, we need it. I'll stay here and prepare. If you want to go find my bell, he takes a step closer and whispers. Then you come back, we can ring it. <laughs> Where do we look for the bell? The Black Lighthouse, Trapper's Cave, Huntress's Cabin, or none of the above? Might be in the cabin. Do we see a bell in here? You spot something shiny. Is it the bell? You reach out for it, but you're tackled from behind. It's Huntress. She holds an ax to your throat. I found you. Now I get to kill you. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. Do we beg for our life? Please, I'm so sorry. I didn't know this was your cabin. I wasn't doing anything bad. Please, please forgive me. Did the wild elk offer my mother forgiveness or did it skewer her? Oh, no. Is this how we die? It skewered her. <gasps> Did we just lose every every bit of progress? Oh no, okay, we just get brought back here. We just got killed. I had a feeling we shouldn't go back to uh Huntress's cabin because she's going to be scorned. Okay, sauna. We, yeah, we've done all this. That's, I thought we had to restart the whole game. I was going to throw both of my computers out the window. Where do we go? Um, the Black Lighthouse. Hey, hot stuff, says Trickster. Doing some snooping. I'm looking for spirit. Me too, actually. We're going to do face masks, and I told her I would show her around my stage over on IP Island. Do we go to the other island? All right, we're going to IP Island. Trickster. Okay, that was like nothing. Let's go to Trapper's Cave, even though we already told him to fuck off, kinda. Whoa, this is cool. 
No, we hear a voice from behind the rocks, like a feeble old man calling for help. Do we look around or investigate the voice? No, we look around. Fuck the voice. You ignore the voice, because you have a job to do. Found a gold coin. Leave it. Oh, no. You can't help but be drawn to me, can you? What is it? My animal magnetism? My musk? My helpless devotion to leg day? I don't think Wraith has ever set foot on leg day. No time to figure out what the hell that means. You think fast. Uh, you're right, Trapper. It's the leg day thing. I love your legs. Your leg days. And also the musk. Oh, I love a good musk. Listen, um, I made this wrong choice eliminating you and I'm and going with Wraith. How could I have been so stupid? You should probably cleave me in two, hack me to pieces. I deserve worse, but if you'll let me, I'd, I'd like to go back to Wraith and tell him I made a mistake and I'm leaving him for you. I should probably cleave you, you in two, you're right, but it takes a truly self-assured person to admit their mistakes and you're aware you're stupid. I'll let, one, I'll let you go under one condition. When you break the news that you're leaving him for me, tell him he has skinny chicken legs. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, so we just gotta go to Huntress's cabin. What the hell? So we were right the first time, we just picked the wrong thing. Okay, so we say we're pranking Wraith. I'm running a very long, complicated con on Wraith. I'm trying to find his bell so he can do something. I don't know, but it'll be a joke. Oh, she likes this. Sounds like a fun game. Wanna play another one? Sure. I've got the perfect game in mind. Hide and seek, bet you can't find me. Ready or not, here I come. Oh my God. You're silly. If this was real hide and seek, you'd be dead by now. But this doesn't change anything. What do you mean? I'm so mad you broke into my house. Which is too bad because maybe I do know something about the bell. Maybe I'll tell you later. We'll see. Huntress goes into another room and realizes you're not going to get anything else here. Except possibly killed. I've got bad news for you. You've already searched the spots that Spirit and Trapper hang out. You've even checked Trickster's stage. Would have been nice if an actual concert was going on, but maybe in the sequel. And now you've also searched Huntress's cabin and managed to knock it yourself skinned. However, isn't it good? It looks like you're gonna have to admit defeat on this one and head back to Wraith empty handed. I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. Who are you talking to? Huntress pops up from behind one of the giant obelisks or obelisks smiling from behind her mask. I followed you back here. It was fun, like a cat stalking prey. Oh yeah, that sounds fun. After you left, I was thinking, I want I wanted to tell you about the bell. Oh my goodness, Huntress, thank you. But it's gonna cost you. You fish around in your pockets for anything of value, but they're completely empty. <gasps> oh, we should have picked up the coins. There are other ways you can pay. Uh, don't worry, silly. Nothing crazy. I never do anything crazy. All you have to do is sing me my favorite song. <laughs> oh no, is it in Russian? Nope, it's the ABCs. <laughs> That's all I have to do? Yeah. Huntress looks jazzed as hell. She's truly unhinged. You clear your throat. <clears throat> Here goes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, P, Q, R, S, T, U. What? T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Hunters applause like a lunatic. That was so good, again, again. No, fine. Okay, so Wraith's bell. I saw Spirit with it yesterday. She was walking back from here and she says she was eavesdropping on your date. So when you weren't looking, she stole it to sabotage your budding relationship with the Wraith. I think she said something about cringy truth or dare game. I think they had a fling or something and she's still mad about it. Who knows? I need to get back to the lighthouse and deal with spirit. Tell her I'll still buy it from her. Okay, great. Hmm. You return to the lighthouse and head right upstairs. No more messing around. 
This time Spirit's waiting for you. Hi, Spirit. Word on the street is you're looking for me. Or are you looking for me? Uh, yeah, no. I literally have no idea why I'd want to be around you, especially after you picked Wraith. Did you already get sick of the sad boy and wonder if the sad girl would do it for you? Cut the crap and give me the bell. I don't have time for this. Oh, oh my. Spirit seems aroused by your aggression. So you want Wraith's bell. How about we play a little game? I call it, don't look at... Don't look directly, don't look into the light or die. You can only open your eyes when I'm blocking the light. If you look directly at it, I'll die. Precisely, you're much smarter than you look, no offense. Stop on spirit and don't look into the light. If you look directly at it, your brain probably won't survive the stress. So the light isn't completely fatal. That Those are hard. Yeah, we got the bell. Please leave me alone. Gladly. Oh my God, we got the bell. Let's go, dude. You excitedly walk in to see Wraith in his sexiest outfit yet. Your eyes do that cartoon thing where they bug out of your skull. Awooga! In true Wraith fashion, his reaction is a little more subdued. He just looks at you and sort of smiles. I hope you have something for me that's not, that's gonna make me as happy as I just made you. <laughs> Look at this guy, so open and comfortable in his own skin, cloak, painted, burnt flesh thing. Beaming, you hold up the bell. It took me all over the island, but I found it. Spirit stole it because it's a long story. Now you want me to tell you what we'll be doing with it? Wraith holds... Now will you tell me what we'll be doing with it? Wraith, hold, Wraith holds the bell and tears up. He kisses it. Weird. Only one more thing until we can finish this. What are we finishing? Or should I say who? I know, Bunny. That was really upsetting. I know. You know I can't tell you that yet. But while we wait... Wraith hands you a super sexy outfit. It's barely more than just a tiny bit of cloth connected by various thin elastic bits. Should I change? You better. <laughs> it's incredibly revealing. Eyes up here. Sorry, it's just impressive. You return to Wraith and model your new outfit. I'm wearing basically nothing. Oh, you just wait. The light's dim. Oh, dang. Is this what you've been waiting for, you little freak? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wraith is totally a different person than the introverted loner you met when, on, when you arrived on the island. <laughs> Are you ready? I want to give you my heart. I'm ready. The lights go out. It's so chilly. Don't worry. We'll warm up. He's not wrong. His naked skin feels like a fire on yours. The fire he's been so afraid of this whole time. You melt into his arms, his lips exploring. Uh... I should, uh, I should probably leave you two alone. Feels weird to be documenting this. Before I give you my heart, I'm going to give you something else. Hmm. There it is. Hold that thought, lovebirds. With Wraith, your special guest is over here. It's here a little early. I didn't know human bodies could fit that way together. Sure they can. I'll show you when we're done tonight. The lights pop back on. And you and Wraith are still wearing virtually nothing. No time to get dressed. We've got to go immediately. That's right. Secret hatch reveal time. And no, that's not some double entendre. Follow us. It's even colder down here. Well, have fun. Our job pretty much stops at getting you here. Contrary to what you may have heard, we don't like to watch. Not this. See you later. They climb up the ladder as you turn around. Across from you stands a very old Nigerian woman. Grandma Abby. Philip! They embrace. You're suddenly very aware of how exposed your skin is and how chilly you are. Forgive me, Bussy Ray. This is my grandmother. Abigail, pleased to meet you, Bussy Ray. So you're the one my little Philip has cho chosen. 
Yeah, we're naked, chat. We're naked. <clears throat> Interesting. What does that mean? Do you need to earn the respect of Grandma Abby now? I can't wait to get to know the person my Philip has decided to give his heart to. Come, help me make drinks. You go with Grandma Abby. Happy to, Philip. Oh yeah, I guess I never told you my real name. Philip Ojomo? You bow deeply. Nice to meet you, Philip. Wraith laughs, grabs the bell, and leaves. Grandma Abby takes your hand and guides you to the table with potions. Come, let's get some refreshments. I'm an old lady, and it's not so easy for me to mix these exactly. My hands just aren't as steady as they once were. You need to help me pour. Pour! Damn it. Tell me, Bussy Ray, Philip's birthday is coming up. What would you get him as a gift? Gold, a nice candle, a statue of a horse. Definitely not gold. Not a nice candle. He hates fire, so horse. You have no idea why you said that. You immediately regret it. But Grandma Abby's face lights up. Wonderful. That would remind him of the knight, his favorite chess piece. Oh, yeah, the chess piece. I forgot. We nailed it anyway. Easy peasy. You liar. Tell me this. If Philip could be a tree, what kind of tree would he be? Rhododendron or a cactus? Cactus is prickly and scary. Rhododendron, very large species of woody plants in that uh, evergreen. Okay, Grandma Abby, you seem wonderful, but you're being a cockblock. Constellation trivia. Oh, cornhole. I will fuck you up in cornhole. Let's go. Yes. Wraith re-enters holding the bell. It looks brand new. I think we're ready. Time to drink up. Grandma Abby hands out the potions, or drinks you made. She stares you down intensely with a sweet smile on her face. No matter what you do, you cannot abandon my Philip. You understand. He has been abandoned his whole life. I regret leaving that bunker. His parents regret leaving our village. But he's here now and he's opened up to you of all people. You cannot betray him. Or I will haunt you from my grave. Thanks for the advice. Chains and locks? Philip's heart must be removed, lit on fire and the bell rung. Everything you've done has been building to this. Oh my God, we're performing a, a heart transplant ritual? I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't do this. Grandma Abby, don't, don't give Bussy Ray the dagger. 
What? What's happening? The ritual requires sacrifice on both ends. The person taking my heart needs to love me in order to lose me. And I, I need to love that person in turn. But I don't know how to say this. You don't love Bussy Ray? Wraith nods. Your heart races as you simultaneously feel like you've died. I'm sorry. It's not you. It's me. And your inability to connect with me. Bro, what? Are you kidding me? Maybe we just didn't spend enough time together. But I really like you. Maybe we can be friends. What? Bro, we can have like three coins right now. And we, we didn't hit pick them up because you're not materialistic. Are you kidding me? Is it because I said the cactus thing? Oh my god, dude. We got friend zoned. We didn't get one of the answers. There was like so many questions. Yeah, we can be friends. Trickster enters and smiles for some reason. Bro, come on. Friends forever. Dude, we got nobody. Are we still naked? Bro, we got nobody. That is lame. We didn't get a an ending with a killer. I wonder how hard it is to... I mean, if we had answered the cactus thing right, we probably would have got it. We're fucking maidenless, dude. Hello? What is Wraith's problem? Dude, we got actually played by Wraith. Because Wraith was like... A liar. Exhibit A. Said he was very, uh... Reserved and anxious and uh, and not intimate. The moment we got him alone in the woods, he gets stripped down naked and asks us to cut his heart out. That's not the behavior of someone who doesn't like intimacy or is anxious. Like, we literally got played by Wraith. Huntress was just trying to kill everything all the time. Spirit, not for one second, even cared about us being there. We got to meet Grandma Abby, and then he rejected us in front of his grandma? I feel like Huntress was the golden retriever. Wraith was two-faced. Men. Why do men? Spirit, I, I, I would have loved to like spit into some god's face with her. She didn't want to do it though. So to get a, a different ending, we have to start from the beginning. We were supposed to stick with one person the whole time, but if that's the case, that's no fun. Yeah, I was actually kind of nervous if that was going to be how it works because like in Daddy Dating Simulator, you really get to like date. You get to date a lot. And then at the end, you kind of like choose and it doesn't like punish you for dating. This one felt like it punished us for, for trying to get to know the killers. Damn, GG's. Oh yeah, it just takes us back. Wow. GG's. GG's, we are, uh, we are maidenless and alone. Everybody's alone, chat. L plus ratio plus uh, friend zoned by Wraith and Grandma Abby. And almost. Also, we died to Huntress. That was pretty cool. That was probably the highlight getting sliced by Huntress.
We should have poisoned Grandma Abby. <laughs> Damn, dude, I really wanted that to... I wanted to see who we were going to get. I didn't know it was like being alone was an option. Um, play again? You know, uh, my voice is kind of tired. I think I'm going to not, but... Um, who will who will who will know if we'll if we'll play another playthrough or even like a speed run just to see what happens? Narrating and voice acting this is is difficult. It's like a, it's like a lot. So I I don't know how many playthroughs of this I can handle, but um, yeah, yeah, you know, GG's GG's on hooked on you on DVD dating sim. That was fun. I'm glad we did it. Now we're just alone, just like the, the same way we started chat alone. <laughs> you turn off your game. <laughs> You just see the reflection of yourself in the black monitor just as you started alone. <laughs> oh man. We <laughs> are fucking alone. Damn. Um, I want to say thank you for all the subs because I read so much of the game. I'm going to, I'm going to skip reading subs tonight. Cause I don't want to like burn myself completely out, but um, I really appreciate all the subs and the ones I missed. Thank you for uh, coming in and supporting. Um, GG, thanks for the fun stream and good community. GG's, y'all. GG's. I hope you had fun. I definitely enjoyed playing this. I wish we got to ring that bell, though, huh? Yeah, Butter Dog, it's time. Time, time, time. Um, appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for the hangs. I'll, uh, I'll see you Thursday. No stream tomorrow, tattoo day. No stream Wednesday, uh, day off and tattoo. Thursday, we go again. All right. Uh, I think we'll do either some Minecraft or some Fall Guys. Maybe Minecraft before... Uh, I'm getting Lonnie kisses. Before Valorant. Uh, Valorant Thursday night, though. It'll be fun. With the squad. Either way, uh, appreciate y'all. Have a good rest of your evening, and I'll uh, I'll see you Thursday. GG's on DVD dating sim. Oh seven, y'all. Hello? Who did that? <laughs>